Ooh, hello, 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 welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah, welcome one and all. It's uh, one of those random streams where I'm not doing anything you remember me doing before. I'm doing the X-Wing. Hello, yes. I don't know how long this stream is going to go on for, but I've got like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think nine or ten issues of the X-Wing build to do. And I thought I might as well do the live stream rather than just film it, because filming's a lot of effort and live streams dead easy. Of course, I've got loads to do. But welcome one and all. I know chat is doing something weird. It seems to be doing everybody's message like four times which is really weird and i don't quite know how to fix that it's been doing it all morning so i don't know why that's gone a bit weird if it becomes really annoying let me know and i'll just turn chat off on the screen there strange it's probably a youtube problem i suspect anyway welcome one and all yeah it's an impromptu stream uh gonna crack on with my big uh big ass x-wing build like i said i don't know how long it's gonna last today uh, but we are going to go from issue 27 where we left off to issue where's it gone Got issue 27 up to issue 35 now if you don't know what this is this is diagostini's build your own x-wing uh, a part work a lot very similar to hachette's warhammer thing where it's just a part work you get some issues every month uh, and over the course of it you'll build up on 18 scale x-wing uh, which i will be doing i'll be getting it building all up and then uh, once it's all done I'll paint it, I'll repaint it completely to make it look more more like a mix of the studio model and a, 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 a you know, real-life version. But that's well off yet. Uh, I think it's 100 issues, I think. Not 80, but it might be 100, might be 80. I think it's 100 issues. And a big fat disclaimer right at the start, because I have to make this clear every time for obviously reasons. Uh, I am not paying for this. This has been provided to me by the good folks at Diagostini. They send me the issues every month. Um, so massive massive thanks to them uh, I'm, I'm getting this for free i will of course give my opinions completely honestly it won't color my opinions at all uh, but uh, i will be completely honest if i think something's bad i'll think i'll say it's bad if i think something's great i'll think it's i'll say it's great uh, but yes this is being provided for me i have double checked now and i've got like all I'm up to issue 30 and i haven't received any of the premium stuff so i do not think i'm on the premium package with all the scenery and pilots and stuff but not to worry it's, i'm not going to complain so yes we're going to crack on uh we have i'm gonna turn that chat off i think because it looks really annoying so let me just turn it off in fact you know what I'll, no i'll turn it off there we go <laughs> box is on the big telly it says andy mccleave the little two pound super check there thank you very much andy i was gonna about to say uh yes you, if you want to i've got the chair in front of me on the ipad Gotham as always is monitoring the chat for you uh, but if you want to get my attention because i will be steeped in screwdrivers and attaching if you want to get my attention simply just put your comment in big fat capital letters put the whole thing in capital letters so i have a chance to see it or if you want to you can do a super chat like andy just did which is a little dollar symbol at the bottom of the chat window uh, that puts it in a color box and puts a little animation up there somewhere i've got uh, yeah it goes up there somewhere uh, oh i've still got me little me little <laughs> me little floaty um number of people watching counter is just randomly floating there now so never mind i, I don't know why the chat's doing that it's very strange maybe it'll be fixed next time who can say anyway yes welcome welcome uh, now before we get going big shout out to all the people that make this stream and all my content possible first and foremost my beautiful beautiful lovely patrons who support me on patreon.com patreon.com forward slash model making guru uh if you want to help support me you can you can go and have a look uh, but massive thanks to them they pay my wages they keep the lights on they keep food on my table so i can't do any of this without them so massive massive thank you and also to my two corporate supporters emodels.co.uk your one-stop shop for all your model making needs and of course goblin gaming uh, .co.uk your one-stop shop for all your tabletop gaming and model making needs both of those uh, lovely lovely retailers support me in various ways um there are links in the description below the video emodels support me as a sponsor and you can get massive savings from them and of course goblin gaming support me as an affiliate the link below if you use the link in the description below this video it will um, give you nice big savings but also allow me to earn a little bit of income because it tells them i sent you so do use the links in the description below right let's crack on model making guru have some peanuts i've been slowly working my way through them they are enormous in their burningness i'm gonna put this to one side if you remember in the last few episodes it's been a while there have, have have obviously been some delays with getting these that's why i've kind of stacked these up we've built the second wing or we're on the process of building the second wing and we have some bits and bobs that i'll get out in a minute so we're still building this second wing i'm afraid there's lots more wing things to do although i don't think it's all wings i don't know how long we go for i'll see if i can go till i've got everything done may even go till six o'clock i don't know 
yes, we're still working on the wing. This wing has got the undercarriage, Ewer Matron. It's got the under under flaps, which I can't actually get open without. Hang on. There we go. Remember last time we built thunder flaps where t landing gear would go. So that's there. But like I say, yes, there have been obviously some delays because the entire world is on fire. Uh, and I would not expect places. Now, a couple of quick bits of housekeeping. I did receive, I have received all these issues now. I said, I, I know now I'm not on the premium package, but I've also got some bits and bobs. Uh, first and foremost, we got a note from them. Uh, it said, uh, Andy Converse subscribed. Andy, thank you very much. I'm just making some adjustments here. Hang on. Uh, my system is not updating my subscription information, but never mind. Having some issues with it today, I think, with Streamlabs. Yes, uh, it says, Dear subscriber, we are experiencing some production delays beyond our control for Build Your Own X-Wing. This is when uh, the whole chocolate velociraptor pandemonium first began happening. In order to keep your deliveries on schedule, we'll amend your next two deliveries to three issues per dispatch. The amount your charge will be adjusted accordingly. We aim to return to the regular five issues per delivery thereafter, but I advise you of any further changes to the publicational frequency of this title. What they were saying was, the entire world's on fire. We can't have enough a, a warehouse full of people right now. We're going to have to send you a bit for you. Normally, you get like five every five weeks. Now they're sending uh, three issues per dispatch. They don't say how regularly. Uh, however, I think one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two three they said for the next two issues however i've had three deliveries now and they've all been uh three issues so i think they're sticking to that for the moment and i would suspect it's probably until they can have a normal number of people in the warehouse and also there's probably production delays as well from you know making. Uh, i also got this little insert <coughs> now if you remember when i was working on the first wing <coughs> excuse me and we had the power input unit with all the little metal pipes uh, and I said how it was a nightmare and half of the pipes didn't fit and I had to snip them down because they were the wrong shape and the wrong size. Turns out it wasn't me doing it wrong. It was actually wrong. It says there's been a small error in issues 16 and 29. Please use the information below. So it turns out it wasn't me being rubbish. They did actually goof and get it wrong. I need a big swig of coffee. And uh, now I'm not on the premium package because I've not got the pirates or diorama stuff, but I have received our first free gift, although the first free gift I think was some posters, but I've received another free gift. And this is the uh, uh, the charge pack, the power pack, which you get as a subscriber. I think this is just a subscriber reward rather than a premium subscriber reward. Because I think I'm on the, I think basically Diagostini have subscribed me. They basically set up a subscription on my behalf. Uh, and that's how I'm getting this. So they put me on the, the general subscription package. Uh, and this is, uh, it says, uh, Power Bank 400 avec Ventus, compatible avec plupart de tablettes, smartphones et appareils électroniques. Recharge jusqu'à uh, 1.5 fois votre tablette et deux fois votre smartphone. Ventus de fixation pour surface lise uniquement au dos cable micro, micro USB. And yeah, anyway, let's not read more French <coughs> because I'm struggling with my funny voice today. And also I'm annihilating everybody who is French. It's a power bank with suction cups. Suction cups so you can you can you can stick it to places it and it and it'll it'll there you go. Suction cups. It's just a power bank charging thing. You know, if you want to you charge it up in your computer. I've got a proper anchor uh, battery power thing somewhere. I'm not going to complain about this. A little bit of a freebie from uh, from Diagostini there. Quite nice. Thank you very much. A bit of rubber there. Quite nice. That'll come in handy. I'll get it charged up. And it just means I can have uh, a couple of smartphones charging while I've got other things plugged in. If I'm running out of plug space, I can have it plugged in. That's really nice, actually. Now, I don't expect it to be, you know, top quality stuff here. I expect it to be fairly basic, but works for me. Already got some charge on it. I like that. It's got some glowy blue lights. Yes. Cool. That's awesome. So not a, not a bad little freebie to come with it. With your premium sub. Uh, you get some... I can't remember exactly what you get now. You get some art posters, which we've had. You get some bookends, which we haven't had yet. Uh, I'll put that in the special bin place. And we get some other bits and bobs. I'll put it in there for now. So, yeah. So... It's not like the um, it's not like say the the Warhammer 
40k the conquest thing that I've subscribed to where you get stuff relevant to the game like you know you get like uh, tokens and board uh, playing mats and dice and things like that there's not really much they can give you that's relevant to an x-wing so they give you lots of tchotchke like this and um, you know bookends and this kind of thing so that's kind of cool i like that no thank you very much dear very kind of you very kind <sighs> yeah so apologies we can't have the chat there i'll try it again in a bit but I, I do like having that chat there for people who are watching who can't see the chat. If you are watching this and you want to join in the live chat, I have the chat here in front of me. Um, if you're watching this anywhere other than YouTube and you can't see where the chat is, if you're on a mobile or tablet, scroll down a bit. It might be underneath the video. Uh, or if you're anywhere else, uh, just click on the YouTube icon that's down here in the bottom right hand corner under the video player somewhere. And that'll take you to YouTube where you can join in the live chat. And you should join in the live chat because the whole point of this these streams we're doing is not to actually do anything related to streams. It doesn't really matter what we're doing. We're just here to give you some entertainment and to give you a place to hang. Let's have a very quick look at who is in and I'll whiz through this really quickly because I want to crack on. Uh, the first comment I have is from uh, Maud Dracker who thinks uh, they are a uh, Ewok and they say yub yub. Uh, Scaly Models is in. Dad at Scaly Models, one of your mods. Welcome, welcome. We have Philip Buck, uh, Eon's Car, Chris Bussey. Welcome, Chris. Uh, do, 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 do. We have uh, Rory Fenn, greeting from West Australia. Get I bro. Hello. What was that? Easy peas. It's only models. <laughs> says says who? The crime is super. Oh, it's Crimer again, is it? Hello, Paul. <laughs> Crimer's in. Crimer's in the stream. Crimer's in chat. Uh, I'll get my sunglasses. Thank you very much, Paul. Easy peas. It's only model. Uh, we have, uh, I was in the middle of saying, so Rory Fenn, greetings from Australia. Good eye, bro. Uh, Andy McLeish, what is this shenanigans? Do you never check Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or anywhere else that I post? But you clearly don't, do you? How's the audio, by the way? Audio and video. Hopefully all is looking good. Uh, Eon's car says, greetings, Rory from Bristol. Uh, Eon's car says, I think we dropped something. My eyes these days are a bit poop, so normally like larger kits, are easier to find parts when they go ping. There's Phil, but Philip Book, and Ian's car says, yeah, I've got lament flooring. I don't think you meant lament flooring, although if you lose lots of pieces on it, then it is lamentful. A lament flooring, so it pings all over the place. Uh, Chris at Gross Models is also in the chat, or popping in and out, because he's, he's busy working today. It'll be popping in and out. All your mods are lovely, fluffy, uh, big, wide-eyed, soft, squishy forest creatures. Um, so do keep do look after them. They'll keep you safe and protected in the chat. But if you cross them, they'll burn you alive and bury you. So don't cross the mods. I'm going to move the microphone a bit because it's off to the side. But let me know how the audio and stuff is doing. Ah, where are we? Philip Books in Lincolnshire. All right, my barber. Oh, you know, this ain't, this ain't no Lincolnshire accent, but it's the best you're going to get from me, all right? And all I've got, all I can think now is Lincolnshire Poacher and, and Russian number stations. Uh, Chris Bussey says, hello from the US. First time able to chat with you guys. Hello, Chris. It must be like half past arse in the morning there. Wow, welcome. Uh, Raging Modeler is in. We have, who else do we have? Please. Andy Comer, Tomcat181. Morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. Uh, Paul DiTomaso is in. Welcome, Paul. But he's going to go back to bed and snooze because he didn't get much sleep. So take care of yourself, buddy. Thanks for popping in. Uh, Beck Storm is in and making a cup of tea. Ryan Dunbar, good evening from Australia. Oh, good eye, bro, again. More Australians. I like, I like this. That's a terrible accent. I do apologise. Uh, Dad asking the question before he gets told off again. What is on your bench and what's in your belly? Bench and belly, folks. Always the thing with our streams. Uh, bench and belly. What's on your bench? What you're working on? What you're building right now? It doesn't have to be a model. It could be a drawing or a, you could be putting shelves up. It doesn't matter. It's something creative and crafty. Uh, and what's in your belly? What are you having for your dinner? Or what have you had for your dinner? Now, bear in mind, I don't really care about the bench bit. That's not really important. It's the belly bit I care about. I need to know all the details, all the details, because I need to be ravenously hungry by the time I finish so I can go off and make my tea and wolf it all down. So I want all the filth about your food and just give me the briefest, briefest thing about what you're building, because nobody really cares about that bit. Really. Andy Coma, I remember that timer from primary school. Yeah, 1980s. Hello. Uh, Paul, the team in Epps says needs more Falcon. Shut up. Uh, Philip Book, belly, egg and bacon, butty with a mug of tea, bench cleaning. Oh. Andy McLeish, belly, can of monster, and not much else, bench and out. 
Eon's car. Bench three, Space Marine Eliminators and Belly Dr. Peeper. Sounds illegal, Dr. Peeper. And Choco Late for lunch, a cheeseburger, then for tea, mincemeat and pasta. Ooh, sounds good. I'm having McDonald's for me dinner, I think. I think we're having McD's because we're being lazy. Uh, Ryan Dunbar, bacon and eggs with Rocky Road Chaser. Wait, you're having the Rocky Road dessert first and then the bacon and eggs. I fully support this. I'm not, don't get me wrong, I fully support this idea. It's just weird. Uh, the O Gundam prepped for priming, says Ryan Dunbar. That's a big chicken, that is. Uh, Andy McLeese says, Oh, did I do, Dad? Do, did do, do, don't you do, Dad? Dad says, Did you do, Andy? Did you? Fucking scouse. Rory Fenn says about half kilo of meatloaf and the same again of chips and potato skins. Oh, yes. Have a bit of that. Got Stormtroopers for Legion. Just finishing the armor on my first squad. Cool. Uh, Andy B67 is in. Welcome, Andy. Paul Dutomasa says see you later. Sleep well, dude. Hope you get some sleep. Wow, that thing's huge. What she's... Yeah, it's not... It's it's studio scale, so yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Big telly. Did Fox leave a big cave near the chat? Because there seems to be an echo, echo, echo. Wait, are we getting... Oh, I see. With the chat chat. Yes, I don't know what that's. Uh... I'm within, says Model Making Mayhem. Welcome at Model Making Mayhem. Uh, Reaper Nuts. Same to you. Team Inept says, oh no, Ian Holmes died. Oh, that's sad. Rest in peace, Ian Holmes. Ian Holmes an awesome actor. Lovely bloke. Uh, Raging model, I need to pop out by half past. I have my music lesson, but I will return. Jolly good. I'll be here for many hours, don't you worry. Uh, scaling models got the same from Hachette. Yeah, and, and places that do part works, they're going to be struggling with manufacturing and, and distribution anyway. So, yeah, if you've got an, if you have an ongoing part work right now that's been fine up to this point, do expect my camera's not straight. Do expect delays and nonsense because you know the entire world is actually on fire. So. There we go. A bit better. <sighs> jumped. Uh, jumped a bit. Right up to. I'll try and go through as quick as I can. Uh, so you're not actual crap model making guru, says Tomcat. No, it wasn't actually me. It was them who made a boob. A boob. Boob. Um, <clears throat> oddly enough, I'm using mine to charge the tablet I'm currently typing on. Jolly good. In fact, you know what I should do? I've got... I'm on 96% charge on my iPad. I'll open the other end, shall I? I've got my cable dragged over. Oh, it's lightning, isn't it? I can't use it for my iPad. It's not a lightning connector. No, uh, oh, actually. You know what? If I pop that out... Uh, I've got cable everywhere now. Let's just connect. I'm doing it off camera now. But connect up my iPad charger. Now oh, that's connector related. And let's put this in the other end in the thigh pad. Ooh. There we go. And I'll put that over there with all the wire in the world. And we'll, we'll see how long it takes to charge four percentings. There we go. String. Power Burke. Power Burke. Yeah. Never thought about that. Uh, I've got so many things to put in places, nowhere to put anything. Brilliant. Entertainment is a bit of a stretch. Shut up. Primer alert says model making mayhem. UVB76 says Paul at Team Inept. I went over all Russian then. That'll do, Fox. Hi, I love your channel, said David Janik. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. I hope you uh, like this, what we're doing today. This will be a long stream, by the way. I could be here for another five hours. Don't don't expect speed. Don't add a yellow belly accent to your portfolio, Fox. I don't actually know what a Lincoln... Hey, Daxterous Crafter. I don't actually know what a Lincolnshire accent is, which is why I went like that. Because that's the only thing I know that ain't London that's down south, right? I, I know London, and I know this, this kind of thing right now. So that'll do me. This'll do me. No, for Lincolnshire. There you go. Shut up. Uh, Dexter's Crafter is in. Welcome, welcome. Fox on the telly now. Uh, Raging Modeler, Belly, Weetabix, and Much Alta. Wait, stop. Belly, Weetabix, and Much Alta, or Alter Monster Munch. Much Alter Monster Munch. Uh, 
Uh, much later, I think it means much later, Monster Munch, Flaming Hot. Monster Munch, yes. Did you get Monster Munch, or do you get Monster Munch Lockjaw? Bench, Young Blue Dragon. This is correct. Lots of detail on the food. Not really bothered about the model making bit, but put it in anyway. Dexterous Crafter, Mulligatawny Soup in the belly with buttered white bread. Bench, empty till the kids go to bed. Kids, go to bed. Uh, Andy Coma, belly sausage roll and sriracha sauce for me. Oh, yeah. And bench airbrushing Batman. Batman on canvas for a friend. I'm Batman. I am the night. Tell your friends. Tell all your friends. I can't do Michael Keane. His voice. More Draca. Bench fetid bloat drone with heavy blight launcher. Belly coffee, bacon and cheese meat pie. He says cheese in capital. Uh, mixed veg and mash looking for more pie. Hello, pie. Then come back. Bring pie. Weeble and Bob. Uh, David Jannick had steak and veggies. Yes. Steak is good. Uh, Tomcat says belly protein shake because diet. Boo. Uh, bench military project since I'm at work listening to the stream on my phone. Oh, <gasps> don't, don't, don't tell us any details about what it is, but do tell us all the details about what it is. And we won't tell anyone. I'll tell you, I promise. If you put in, t if you put in chat what all the top secret army stuff you're doing is, all the military stuff, it's not like we're on the internet or anything. Nobody will know. Nobody will see it. It's just put it in chat and cool. I'm just between you and me. Just between you, you and me. You and me. Only you and me will see it. And two others. Uh, I can't wait for the X-Wing Diagostini model to come to Australia, says David. I probably will do. I don't know. I always get confused between Hasha and Diagostini. Hasha, I know, don't have, say, North America, whereas I think Diagostini do. I assume Diagostini have an Australian territory branch. I don't know. Because uh, this launched first in the US, so I know they do US, but Australia, I'm not sure. Uh, another Aussie with us, Space Jump 55. Greetings from Western Australia. Wish this would be released in Australia. There you go. So that's four of you now from Australia. G'day. G'day, fellas. Uh, or not fellas, if some of you may not be male. Uh, Phil Lewis, belly, charred beef, tomato, and mayo on wholemeal sandwich. Bench the tablet. I'm typing this on. Also watching on the big telly, because my wife and son also love your shenanigans. I only try to provide the finest of shenanigans. Beck Storm says, wibble wobble. Uh, and the raging modeler says, I think the lady doth protest this too much, because he's hassling her to get a bane blade. We won't do that today, Nat. At least I won't do that today. I felt a bit bad afterwards. Like. We were ribbing Nat a little bit about bane blade. We're only joking. But, you know. I felt a bit bad after. Anyway, let's crack on. So, where are we up to? <clears throat> let's start with issue 27. Cashier number four, please. We're going to move this charging cable out of the way because it's right in the way of everything. <sighs> right, so we start with issue 27. Now, it follows the same format. I've not looked through any of these. It'll be lots of fluff, uh, studio information, sort of background on the studio stuff, and then the actual makey makey. Uh, so, we have some information on how they recreated. <clears throat> an X-Wing cockpit in Star Wars Rebels. Uh, it was so cool to animate X-Wing. It's like a dream come true. I like I like Star Wars Rebels. It was all right. It was quite good. I just wish they hadn't made the guy look like kind of Disney's Aladdin. Because it's like, oh, look, it's a generic Disney dude. Okay. But never mind. Uh, some Clone Wars stuff. I do like the Clone Wars animated series. I despise the movies, but the animated series gets a thumbs up from me. So any Clone Wars content is good. Uh, talking about Sacy Tin, who is an Itachi Jedi ace. Uh, Master Sacy Tin was an excellent starfighter pilot, as well as a skilled swordsman. Something he proved numerous times during the Clone Wars. I don't remember him from the uh, Clone Wars. I probably do if I thought about it. Uh, then it shows us what we're doing today, which is the lower port engine finishing the casing so no not messing about here not like the hashette stuff with 35 pages of warhammer back law a couple of pages shut up get on with it there you go nothing if nothing if not quick and to the point so we need the parts <coughs> i've got a tickly throat as always today so yes i don't know why i closed the magazine for i kind of need that bit to make sure we've got all the things we have the knife of poik I'll do it for you. Oh, I worked first time. That's almost disappointing. It's good, but it's not right. Oh, itchy nose and everything today. How much does this kit subscription in cost in total, please? Uh, I have no idea because I'm not paying for it, but I will probably guess about uh, 
Anybody want to do the math for me? I'm going to guess it's about a grand. Eight, nine, I know the Falcon was about 800 quid. So this might be about seven or 800 quid, I think, in total. I'm going to guess. I'm kind of guessing it's 100 issues, and that I don't even know how much the issues are. I don't know, actually. Who wants to work out the mathematics for me? I would guess probably about between 700 quid to a grand. Model making trucker. Boom! I'm here for a change. <clears throat> now, if you're doing this part work, for the love of dog, whenever you get a bag of bits, check the bag of bits because they have a habit of sometimes holding on to little tiny parts. Do a gentlemen, control your tiny parts. I need a I need a box to put these bits in. I don't want them sitting around on the floor. Give me one second, we're back in a second. Sorry about that, I was looking at myself a little box to put rubbish in. Otherwise it'll be sitting on my floor all day. <sighs> right, so, <clears throat> where are we up to? Hey. Uh, D'Agostini is in Australia. I've got Build Your Own R2-D2 and Millennium Falcon, says David Janik. In that case, yes, you probably will get this. This was out, I think, in the US for about a year. About a year before we got it here in the UK, so. <sighs> So we have more LED, oh it's this bendy LED bit isn't it? Now we have done this before, this will not be anything new. So, get out these tiny, tiny parts and pieces. Make use of this little box here. Boxes which will come in handy. Uh, so, what we need to do is, you can now assemble the LED system that makes the engine glow. And put together all the internals matron stages 25 and 26 which are these bits here you see uh i think oh it's this fiddly bit with the brown nonsense isn't it mm. oh well we'll get it done let's get it done i've got uh you know about a four and a half five hours so it's not like i'm rushing or anything like that we're in no rush now i'm not rushing i'm not even polish or ethan you're looking it was a terrible joke. I'll just give it up. I'm a bit hyper today. I don't know why. <clears throat> I need to clear my throat. Sorry, guys. Ugh. You may not realise this, but talking on camera is actually really taxing for the throat. It sounds really feeble, but it's true. Just doing a live stream for a couple of hours is actually really taxing because it's more talking than I normally do on a daily basis. I've got to be careful here because there'll be pingage of tiny parts. So whenever you get, uh, you know, this kind of uh, clamshell packaging, always double check there's no little tiny parts left inside. That's quite a nice little, nice little texture. That you could uh, you could use that as a mold for something. If you're into molding things, you could use that as a greeble. Cut out the square bit. I don't know if you can really see it. Cut out the square bit and mold it into a relief. Into the rubbish box it goes. Uh, it's got modularity, says Model Making Mayhem. Modularity, finest X-wing in all the realms. Let me get these particles out. Uh, put that one there. Cover right there. Carefully getting these bits out. And yes, even when it's a part work and it's all dead simple build, I still go slowly. Yeah, another little thing that you could use for something. If somebody might have a use for that, some of you scratch builders, it goes into the rubbish box. 
Uh, right, so let me place the book of learnings. So the first thing we need to do is take the clear part and and get it covered in scuffs. Does anyone know? Says Tomcat. Looking at the site for the US and when they say at a price per is that per issue or total? Uh, it's usually they'll usually give you the monthly the monthly subscription amount. They want. If you go into the model space store, sometimes they'll have a part work and you can either buy it issue by issue as a subscription or sometimes they just say you can buy the whole thing. I know for the Millennium Falcon, sometimes what they do is they list it twice. One as the monthly subscription and one says they just get everything on in one go. It's like $899 or something, $780, quid. Making up numbers now, uh, but they don't always do that. It depends what they've got available. If they have the stock in, they will uh, allow you to buy it all. Uh, right, so it says... Uh, fight the four pins on the thrust, diffuse it into the holes in the lens. One pill is smaller than the other, so it only fits this way around. That was the little tiny pin there. The Which side? Side of the diffuser. Hard to tell from the photograph. There's a there's a recess bit there. I'm guessing it's this one. Right that way. There we go. Now I'm kind of going to regret all this because I've not actually considered taking the M engine apart again when it comes around to painting it. I'll worry about that. Parts together till they fit flush. Uh, align the assembly with the thrust nozzle, matching up the notch in the lens with the internal rib on the nozzle. There's a little internal rib there, and there's a little recess bit there. Now, this is where the fun starts because this is the bit I can't be sure I'll ever get out again when it comes to painting this puppy. So, it's going to be interesting. I probably will, but it goes in with a crack, so I can only assume it comes out with a crack, and that generates sadness. Where's that gone in? The first time I did this, it was like a real tight fit and went crack in place. So, I don't think that's in. Is that in? That is not in. Quite tricky to get this in because <clears throat> you want to get it perfectly straight. It's always perfectly straight. There we go. Click and it goes in. And it doesn't go in. You go in. Get in. Click. There we go. That's the click I was looking for. And then it comes out again. Brilliant. I'm not convinced that's in properly. Because it's rittly rattly. Rattly like anything, that. Uh, yeah. Can't quite remember. It's not going to come out, but I don't remember the other one being quite that wobbly loose. Hmm. Oh well. I'm sure it'll be fine. Doesn't matter once it's built into place. Let's give it a let's give it a nudge with rubber tipped goodness. As far as it's gonna go. Yes, that'll do. Right. Uncall the lead attached to the LEDs. A little bit a little bit rattly, but once it's mounted into the engine and it never moves, then nobody really cares. Uh, uncoil the lead attached to the LED. Roger, uncoiling now, sir. Do 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 do. I've actually got a light shining right on the magazine, which does not help me at all. <laughs> stretching, stretching, stretching. Now fit the tip of the LED into the hole in the reflector. These are always a quite a tight fit, and I found with these the best thing is to get your fingernail and thumbnail on this bit here, which is metal, and push. Push it. Let your fingernail and thumbnail catch on the edge of it. Making sure that it comes out through the other side. Yeah. Tomcat. So, about those details, lol. Maybe it's the clear part of the round. No, it's, as far as I can tell, that's the right way around, because the... This bit needs to sink into the recess. 
Very hard to tell from the photograph which way around is correct, but as far as I can tell, that is correct. Hmm. This other one was quite a tight fit, you see. Well, I can't, I, I can't not assume that there are other things to come in, go in there later on. I can't remember if there's things in there that will block it into place. So we shall find out. Uh, oh. oh, I see, I see. Uh, there's little pegs in there that go into little holes. They should line up as well. Okay. Little recess bit. I don't really mind because I need to get it out again in the future anyway. So. It not being a massively tight fit is not a problem for me. Oops. Get the pegs. There's little pegs that go through the remaining holes. Hmm. Yes. Eh. So just under a thousand pounds in the UK for a complete series, says Andy Comer. Uh, did somebody figure out the price? Eighteen hundred in the US for the standard X-Wing set. Standard price nine ninety nine pounds a month on hundred issues. For the first three issues, can be caught up for fifteen pounds. Yeah, there's usually a bit of a discount for the first handful of issues. Hmm. Well, we'll worry about that later. Right, this is where it gets fiddly now. Because uh, we need to assemble this into this and that. This is where we have to do some bending of the wirings now and it gets a bit nerve wracking. The lead needs to be. Uh, Phil Lewis, the LED needs to be across the narrow section of the reflector so it'll bend away from the cutout on the rounded edge. Yes, uh, you are in fact correct. It needs to be needs to bend towards those edges. So yes, it needs to make sure that it's basically this lead is flat like that. So you need to make sure it's that way, not that way, because it needs to bend back here. Carefully bend the wire down so it follows the curve of the reflector on the side opposite to the arrow notch. Arrow notch is there. Bend it back this way. This is the bit that gave. Chris, the collie wobbles we needed, and me as well when we did ours, because it's like you don't like bending electronic nonsense. Uh, for the complete X Wing build, it would cost $1,769.12 standard. I don't know if that's dollars or Australian. Uh, dollars American or dollars Australian, I assume. American. Uh, fit the plug through this hole of the assembly from stage 25. Stage 25, which is this one, huh? I've done this once before, but it's been so long ago that I've actually forgotten it because I'm rubbish like that. This little label is getting on my nerves. So I'm going to take it off because it's rubbish. I don't need to know. It's component number 40. Thank you. There we go. Yes, so this needs to go in here. That doesn't seem at all correct. Uh, I think that's yes, it does. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Just to go there through that hole there. Ooh. Twelve feet through the window into this position. Booyah, a kashar. I fit the plug through the hole in the lower engine casing, which is where it starts to get a bit fiddly now. We need this bit here, which goes through like that. Whoop. And then acetylate all the bits into the relevant orifices and whole places. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do here is before we attach that, for safety poor poises, because I might need to take all this apart again. I'm not actually going to take all this apart again, but just in case, I'm going to nip 45 degrees off the end of these pegs. Wow, those cutters are garbage. Hang on. Those are the ones that come with the uh, Hachette Conquest part work, but they're not exactly brilliant. Where's, where's my big what that? Uh, where's me? Hang on, hang on. There, there they are. Just nipping a little 45 degree snick off the end. 
just so that if I need to get this out again, I can do it easily. If I can't, if I don't need to get it out, then it's fine. It'll stay in place. If I need to pop it out. So that needs to go in there through the hole. Uh, uh, this goes like this was into the hole here. If you're wondering why I snipped that bit off the end, the 45 degrees, it's because I don't know where that wire's supposed to go. Uh, wait. That wire's supposed to go underneath that component? I don't. So. It doesn't say where to thread that wire underneath the central bit here. Bit. Have I missed that somewhere? Casing. Uh, oh, I see. No, that's not right. This is why it's good to take that bit off, you see. But yes, if you're wondering why I've done that with the little 45 degrees snicked, it's just purely so I can get these bits off again. Or not, as the case may be, as it seems to be at the moment. Uh, a bit easier than if I didn't do that. Again. Hang on. Spudging stick. Where's my spudger? An old gumpler trick. It reduces the surface area and contact area so you can a little easier prise things apart again later on like that see so that needs to this needs to go inside I've actually forgotten how we, how this went this time this needs to go where exactly it doesn't actually say what to do with the wire as it goes under here does it come out there does it come out the top where does it where do you want it to go be careful not to trap the wire as you line up. Just seems to. It's like this wire goes under there, but there's no actual notch or anything cut out for it, so I don't really know where it's supposed to go. It says not to trap the wire, but the wire kind of has to go underneath, which is weird. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not trap it there. Get that wire out. There we go. Just scrobulate that. There we go. That's now free. Yes. Huge success. Power. And the thing is, right, the thing is, none of this is going to be visible because once this is done and sealed up, you're never going to see it ever, 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 ever again. Bit the curved, curved end of the reflector into the place. Now that this wire is jammed in place. There we go. That needs to go into there. Pulling, pulling. Curved. Right. That goes into the little recess there. Curved. Apologies if this isn't fun to watch or I'm a long way away. I need the camera a long way away um, so I can actually, you know, show you the big things because some of the things are quite big. But also, um, yeah, that's the reason I couldn't finish that sentence. That should be in there now. This can be pulled tight down there. I'm just going to double check that we have illuminations still. Uh, hopefully. Dear Lord, please. For the love of baby Jeebus. Yes. Boop, boop, boop. Pew, pew. Yes, <clears throat> just like the headlight on my mining helmet in Fallout 4. Yes. Yeah. Some weird little nodule there sticking out, which is kind of weird. Let me just clean that up a little touch. Uh, or then again, maybe it's supposed to be there. I don't know. That goes into there. With the reflector firmly pressed into place, line up the two halves of the engine. <laughs> Put them together, making sure the reflector goes into the slot. And yes, I figured that one out. I do like the fact I've shown this before, but there's like little hydraulic pistons in here. And they look like hydraulic pistons and they match up with this flap here that goes up. And And if you think of it logically, these are hydraulic pistons that can extend. So they make these two components, this bit and this bit spread out and open up to open up the vents, which as a machine would make perfect sense. But they've put that in there because it's completely made up. It's not on the actual filming model 
they've completely made it up and yet you don't see any of that because of this happens and that's the last you ever see of that ever basically you never ever see that ever again which is why i'm not too fussed about anything in there because it's never going to be taken apart i'm not going to paint inside there ever i'm not doing a cutaway model so there really is no benefit to me actually ever opening that ever again uh, place the thrust nozzle all the way onto the engine assembly thrust nozzle you say uh, which is that way the notch and there's a the tab so this will hopefully hold that wibbly wobbly bit into place also it does a nice job of holding eh. there you go that's nice that's not going to fall out now it's still a little bit it's not 100 in but it's not going to fall out and it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter and at least i know i can get that the other one really clicked into place that one at least i know i can get it out because when i paint this i've got to take the clear bit out so that one i'm going to drop here about uh fit the locking collar locking collar uh, over the end of the engine with its tapered end outwards wide side thin side wide side road sold <laughs> you knew we were going to do that with its tapered end outwards it's like that i like the fact they've got these like collars that hold two parts together quite nice <laughs> they are quite tight <laughs> there you go that's never going to come off ever again. Now, there are, of course, little parts where uh, I'm going to have to do some kind of filling and fixing because you've got bits here, which you probably can't see, but bits here where it's like a little panel that stops and a panel that stops here. And you can get away with that panel gap. Once it's primed, you won't see that little light. There's a bright line there. That's where there's no paint, basically. I say paint. It's not actually paint. It's just whatever. Uh, but you can get away with that because it just looks like a sticky out panel. But there's little bits here here and a little bit there that obviously just look like a seam gap it may well be once this is finished and done i'll have little bits of filling to do but nothing major a lot of this assembly i could theoretically just not even glue i'm not gonna i'm not really gluing too much at the moment anyway because like i said i do need to take all this apart again we'll do another little quick test to make sure we've not exploded any lighty bits yes there you go all the manga noises jolly good now i if you're wondering why i'm being so careful with the lighting it's because i don't do lighting i don't do electronic i'm allergic to all of that nonsense uh, and i'd suck at it i suck biblically suck hard at that kind of lighting nonsense ah my eye says model making hey yeah. so to me lighting is like i don't know it's like asking it's like asking your local vicar to i don't know do hardcore rap battles or something it's just totally out of my knowledge area uh do 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 oh okay we totally didn't do that we need to fit these before installing installing the internal comp yeah okay we'll we'll do that now shh i don't shut up don't tell anyone nobody will know god damn it I wonder where these bits was going to get told to go on. Shut up. Right, so that goes there. Yeah, that was, yeah. Oh, well, never mind. Only I can miss out an entire goddamn step. Ping, and then drop the bit on the floor. Right. Lewis says, bye, he's have to shoot off. There's Dexter. Thanks, Lewis, coming in for coming in. I'll start that again. Thanks for coming in, Lewis. I'll have a look at the chat in a second. I'm just going to get these bits on first. Uh, yes. yes. They are kind of like... They go in... It's got my nerves now, that wire. They do go in flat, but they don't look like... There we go. There we go. There she is. So injured as we were led to believe. Now, there's no hole for that. There's two little dimples, but no actual hole. A bit rum. Oh yes, there. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Some of these little pegs are at like very sharp angles, so it doesn't look like there's an actual hole, but there is. And you have to be really careful. Push them in at nine degrees to the ninety degrees to the horizontal, because they have a specific angle of dangle. Angle of dangle. 
Now these might snap. It's entirely possible. Oh no. Or they might go in. No, they might not go in. If these do snap, I'll just glue them in place. It's not a big problem. These are quite tricky and challenging. Ning 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 ning. Moreover, because they're hard to see more than anything else. Ah, oh, this is most tricky. Get in the hole. Aha, no, not aha. Aha, no, not. Ass. Hang on, leave a helmet of seeing. I may have to use my knife of hole widening as well. A little bit, maybe. I wonder why they're supposed to be put on before, lol. I don't think actually it makes a difference to these pegs going in the holes. I think it's just that it's, for these, it's that the holes are like at 45 degrees. Oh, there's, there's one. And. Yes, there's the other. They're very, very tight. It's like you've got a curved surface. Like. You've got a curved surface like that. But the hole is still at 90 degrees to the horizontal. So you have to get the peg, which wants to go like that. You have to make sure it's like that. And then it's, it's quite tricky to get them in. I remember that from last time. Do, 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 doing drawings. You sponge fox. But I don't think it'll make a difference to getting these on now. It doesn't make a difference if they go on now or later. Uh, I've got some cements out, but I don't need them because I can't use any of those. I got some extra thin and my stinky stuff, but I can't use either of those because as someone rightly points out in chat, this is ABS plastic on this model. And dad, I can't use your dad tool because it's not fit in there. So if I do need to glue anything, uh, and I, like I'm doing with the Falcon, uh, that, the Bandai Falcon I'm doing, I am gluing greebles and things in because it doesn't really matter for greebles if they're glued in or not. Uh, I don't need to glue them in, but... really matter i do think one or two of them in because they're a little bit loose that's never coming out again though so hooray uh what's the next one uh we want f f got these two here luckily they have specific hole designs so f is four holes g is three holes so g is that one should be her are you declaring a dad a, a are you declaring a dad tool fail fox not at all because those of us who have the plastic magic glue are in the minority and therefore it's unfair to expect a dad device to work for all different types of glue that's quite loose that's i'm going to cement that in place it's unfair to expect it to work for all types of uh, plastic now you might be saying to yourself, hang on Fox, this is a pre-painted, pre-painted model. Why are you gluing things in? You know the rules, you can't glue painted components together without cleaning paint off the sprues, off the, off the connection points. Yeah, this isn't pre-painted, this is coloured cream with a light misting of black sprayed over it. It's not really painted, there's enough exposed plastic there for the glue to kick into, so don't worry about that. I mean, it's quite clever the way they've done it. If you think about it, instead of, you know, painting the whole model, they've got a few components that are not obviously the light grey colour. That's just black plastic. That's grey plastic. I think. But this is just a mushroom. It's like a, it's like almost an off-white colour plastic. Um, you can't really see, but if you see under under the sides of the pipes, it's like an off-white colour. Not quite white, but off-white colour. And all they've done is they've got like a very dark brown or, or black and just very lightly misted it over, over the whole thing. So when you look at the wing components, again, it's not mushroom coloured, it's actually white and it's just had a very light spray of black. You can see there, that's the kind of colour the plastic is, that. That's what colour the plastic is. It's just not been sprayed. So, I mean, yes, it could be much better than that, but for the, when you have to remember, and I've said this before, you have to remember... Uh, the, 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 the kind of people that part works are aimed at. They're not aimed at, technically, really, they're not really aimed at people like you and me who are hardcore modelers who build and paint models. Otherwise, they'd just be making a model of it. 
things like this are aimed at people who don't normally make models that's the whole point of the part work uh, they're trying to capture an audience who likes for example in this case who likes star wars but have no interest or no ability or no experience of actually making models uh, which is why it's all push fit and snap fit and screws and bolts and maybe a tiny bit of glue here and there but um these are not aimed at proper modelers so it does mean that, you know, we can sit here and say, well, you just sprayed it with a bit of black. That's not very good. It's a bit rubbish, isn't it? And it's like, well, not if you're not a model maker. If you're not a model maker, it's kind of all right. Fine. It looks like it looks like a mushroomy color. If you're a model maker who knows how to paint and weather and use an airbrush and everything else. And yeah, of course, it's like, you know, it's, it's lacking. You, you do a much better job yourself. But if you're just, you know, somebody who's last who's never made a model before or perhaps who the last thing they made was i don't know thunderbird 2 or the r2 or they built with bismarck or something i don't know another one of these part works then this is this is fine because they have no interest in doing painting they have no experience in that at all not what they know uh weirdly didn't fit too well but it went on you know, it's not anything in their in their wheelhouse in their experience so they're not fussed they're quite happy thank you very much it's not aimed at kids i wouldn't say that but it's no different to you know i don't know it's, it's just a very simple basic paint job that most most people who are the target audience of these kind of things will be more than happy with and of course as modelers we have the option of taking that and improving on it by painting it ourselves and yes we can all do a vastly superior paint job but yeah, I don't think we would expect it because at the end of the day as well, if it had a, a massive paint job on it, a how would you mass produce that other than with real basic overspraying like we have, uh, and b how would you make that not then three times the cost? No, can't get this piece to go in. Get in, you're fine. Can't actually see. You know, they have to mass produce this, and you have to keep in mind as well, they have to mass produce it and be able to produce components on demand. Not like the, you know, it's not like a model company where they just make all the sprues and that's it, they just black them out. Or sideshow collectibles where they just make a thousand of them and that's the production run. All in one go, which you can do. You know, the reason that sideshow collectible figures are like a thousand pounds is because somebody physically sits there and paints them. But this kind of thing, they have to they have to produce them out of sequence because you, you could become a subscriber at any point. You could join this subscription a year after it starts and they have to be able to produce those parts to make your model. And it's not like one week they're doing issue one, one week they're doing issue two. They could suddenly have to do issue 43 when they're in the middle of printing issue 25. So you get the idea. Is this thing charging? This thing's no longer charging. Apparently it stopped charging my iPad. I don't quite know why. Oh, I think the battery's out to... Okay, I think my little charging pack actually had minimal charge built into it by default. So I think I'll have to charge my charging pack first. <laughs> I think it, it died because it ran out of charge. That's fine. You don't expect these things to ship with a full charge anyway. So yes, I mean, you know, I'm not going to sit and knock the paint job. Because I'm, you know, it's not brilliant, but it does its job. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to criticize it on the basis of it not looking like something that it isn't. It, you know, it's not trying to be a, an accurate recreation of the studio model. It's trying to be a part work for amateur, amateur builders and collectors who maybe have no interest or experience of model making. And you know there are things you could do to improve it of course there are but it's fine that is all the parts right let's unplug that charging pack yeah it's only got a little, only had a little tiny bit of charge in it so i'm not really fussed i'll charge it up later it's kind of neat though not bad for you know what effectively it cost a couple of quid i'm not going to complain about that right there we go Right, let's have a quick look at the chat while that's drying because we've done we've done issue 27 now 
Issue 27. Thrust nozzles. Whoa, look at the nozzles on that. Look at the nozzles on that. This is CGI. I don't know if they've done their own CGI version or if this is one of the CGI models from like the, the prequel films when they when they redid the original with the CGI and it looked great on screen, but in reality they're not that detailed. Or where they've got that 3D model from, I don't know. But yes. Anyway. And a picture on the back of uh uh some uh, the rogue the rebels, Star Wars Rebels. Moving up. Let's put that to one side. 27 please so a quick look at chat and then we'll have a look at issue 28 uh right what's I, I do apologize i've missed lots of chat but i'm going to be concentrating on the build uh draw the wire three further says phil lewis people are still talking about the cost of it uh, if you've actually asked me some if you want to ask me a question or get my attention in chat below please 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 put your comment in capital letters because i just see this screen of chat here you see and i only get to look up to it occasionally so if you if you want your comment to stand out put it in capital so i have a chance of seeing it otherwise it's just a wall of text i mean it moves fast or if you like i say if you want to you can do a super chat uh if you bend that too much it snaps thank god i have a soldering iron that's the the, yeah, the little metal contact yes i have no idea model making mayhem says booyakasha check out me car that was a good series, that coppers on Channel 4. Uh, More Dracker says it's $1,947.47 Australian dollars for the premium. Yes. Do, 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 do. The reflector sits in the groove of the outer case. Gordon Bennett, Fox, Paul. I'm being delicate. It's, it's done now. Uh, Dexter's Crafter says, Wow, Mike, do we have an official camera on our hands? Because Dad says, Talking of Fallout 4, I may have received a copy today with free. <gasps> I'm doing a Kermit Flail live on telly. Dad, if you've got Fallout 4, brilliant. just get all the mods. I'll send you a list. Dad, I will send you a list. Dad. Dad. For those who don't know, scaly models, we all call him Dad. Dad, I will send you a list of the mods you need. You will, there's mods, you, yes, you, I'll send you a list. You need to install them in the order that I send them to you and make happiness with them. Yes. Excellent. Excellent Fallout 4. Yes. The, the storyline's garbage, eh, but with the mods I'll send you, it improves the gameplay and you can just poodle about and wander around and have, uh, have uh, excitements. And also you need to set the walking speed down to 25% because then it's like real walking and it takes forever to get anywhere and it just, brilliant. Yes, 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 yes. You need the Garand M1 and you need the Car 98. We well, need the Mauser. Hello, I'm getting messages now. Thank you, thank you. He he, says Mike Mountain. What? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, so I'll send you a list of mods. You want the Mauser family rifles and the Garand M1. Those are the only weapons you need. They make the gameplay so much more interesting. Uh, plug it in and do some laser effect noises. Beckstorm is now banned for typing laser with a Z. It's an acronym. It's an S. I do not tolerate laser with a Z. Heresy. Heresy. That means Paul is watching you now, carefully. It's Lewis says, buys had to shoot off. Uh, you sponge. Have you seen the trailer for Star Wars Squadron, says Rory Fenn. Yeah, but I... not my kind of game, though. It's awesome, but I'm not really into combat flying around stuff interestingly ea haven't mentioned anything about pay to win or paid mods or paid upgrades they've just said they say all the things you need to make your shit better you can get by playing the game yeah they'll they'll monetize it somehow don't you worry about that mm -hmm. uh... nim says to dad i think i'll be making you proud i've got a kind of mephiston red for my version card ball uh welcome nim now, apparently, here's a little handy handy bit of information for you. We've all spent many years saying Verkar when it comes to Gumpla, a version Katoki. Um, we've all spent many years, because it says, we always say Verkar. Apparently, that's completely incorrect. The correct way to pronounce it is actually version Katoki, apparently. There is no, if you go to, if you go to a, a Bandai and say a Verkar, they'll be like, what, what's a Verkar? Apparently, it's version Katoki. Uh, but it's easy to say Verkar. 
Wow, Fox One. Inexpress. In what? What an inexpressive large shaft you have. I don't even know what that means. Inexpressive. Uh, sounds like we need a limited edition plastic magic version of the dad tool. Nim, I am really proud of you, says dad. Gross model says, hello, Nat. Mayhem, Eon, everyone else. Welcome, Chris, again. Chris will be popping that. Chris is actually working at the moment, so. Uh, Chris says, bold. Model making says, blem. Model making mayhem. Ted mode engaged equals bold. Seal clapping engaged by Fox says, model making mayhem. I know it's an S. I used a Z for extra zappy noise effectiveness. Oh, don't trigger me like that. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh I don't know. When somebody puts a Z in laser, I instantly switch off from anything they say forever. So I know you better, than, but you know, if you were just some random person in chat, in a, in a conversation, in a comment or a chat, every time somebody spells, well, first of all, every time someone spells laser with a Z, a kitten loses its wings. But also, I need to clean my glasses. Uh, but also, uh, I instantly switch off from anything they say. Because how the hell do you misspell an acronym? I'll let you off though, I know you're doing it for effect. Right, where are we? One day I'll learn not to say what triggers me when Paul's actually watching, because it's stupid. Not working now, I'm finished, says Chris at Gross Models. Yay, back home. Oh, you're finishing at one, aren't you? I forgot. Slaps. Seal clapping it. There we go. Right, I'm up to date with chat. I say I probably have missed a lot of conversation, so I do apologize. If you want to get my attention, shout. As in the bold or caps. <laughs> Uh, right, next issue. Build your X Wing. Got to build it now. Put the things together to make the bigger thing. Right, the T70 Starfighter. Hard to tell from that photograph, but that man has a Lego face. Or pilots, it seems to have a Lego face for some reason. T70 Starfighter. <laughs> What is a T-70 star? It's just the... Is our X-Wing is a T-70? I can't remember. I thought it was a T-60 something. Or... Oh, no. It's a midway between the... Yeah, we don't care about that. It's not. A, that's not an X-Wing. K-2SO from Rogue... Rogue. They said Rogue Trader then. Star Wars Rogue whatever thing. I like that round, but it was quite good. I liked it. Uh, and then we have the bits. Lower port wing mounts. Anything in here I need to be worried about? No. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's feeding this wire through and it's a pain in the bum. Oh, all right, we'll do this bit then. Right, yes, there'll be, there might be some almost swearing here because you've got to feed a wire through. Now, unfortunately, they give you these little mounting pins that are supposed to hold the wire in place and they totally don't do that part of their job. I put that there. That goes there. I'm going to put that with the other bits. I've got nowhere to put these components. Components, you see. Components, I say. Put that. I'll just put it. Uh, I'll just put it. <gasps> Into place. Right. How I need my knife. I am not organized. Everything is going wrong. Whoa! Daily Models says, because! Thank you very much, Dad. You are very, very kind. That's very kind of you. That's a super chat. Some people know that's a super chat. And I know it appears in chat like a minute or two before I actually say, oh, look, there's a super chat. But it's because there's a delay on the stream. And not everybody can see the chat now because there's no chat there. Yay! Thank you very much, Dad. Very, very kind of you. You got gold when you did that. Gold! Dip it, dip it. Oh, don't do that. Copyright. Metal pieces. There we go. Little tiny screws. Many screws. Many, many screws. Check the bag for componentings. No. Nope. Throw that away. Yes. I'm keeping them in a box down there because there's always a the chance I'll suddenly realise there is a component stuck in there somewhere. Every S in chat is turning into a Z. I hate you all. Uh, Nim says, on a very complete, on a completely different note, I have a very big package. 
coming to me on Saturday. Observe the components, says Model Making Mayhem. Feeding wire is a pain in the bum. You're feeding it into the wrong place. Yes. Right, where's my little component containers? For these little bit. Oh, not going to need these yet, I don't think. They are for the engine bit, which I don't need to do yet. That's the next sweary step. And when I say sweary, I don't mean like the game designer. Folks, I use little blobs of UV cured resin to hold the wires in place after having my patients sorely tested trying to get them to stay in place. Uh, I don't have such things, but I just got them in place and then slammed the wing shut and was like, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> I think I use some tape as well to get them down. Uh, right. Okay. Now, we're going to need a screwdriver. I'm not using the screwdriver that comes with this uh, part work. This one. Uh, because it doesn't seem to fit some of the screws and I don't like that handle. But I'm actually using the screwdriver that came with my Diagostini Millennium Falcon because it's a lovely screwdriver. It's got a spinny bit on the end, see? Bit. <sighs> it's something I've wanted for a very long time, just haven't pulled the trigger on it, says Nim. You need to give us more clues, like just tell us. Wow, we're still live, says Eric Graham. Oh, I'm going to be going for hours, mate. I've got loads. I've got six, uh, nine issues to do. We'll be going till dinner time. Right, more wires. Yeah. So we have. I'm going to. I don't think I need these components just yet. I think that's for the next step, which I'm going to hate even more. So I'm going to put them to one side. What I do have ready is my little tidy tray of test screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have some fives. To, I'm hoping when they say like this is XWO2 and this is XWF, I'm hoping every time they have a pack with like number five screws that they're the same as the other number five screws from earlier episodes or earlier issues. Otherwise, I'm a bit screwed. I'm assuming that I'm assuming that like you know the number five screw is always the same, the number two screw is always the same. Could be wrong. I could be right. Wow, the Falcon screwdriver still works. How is it not worn out? Oh. It's a sewing machine and it says Nim Cool. You can do sewing things. I like that. Right, these are 05 screws. So they will go into the 05 place. Figure out where the hole is that I just cut. Uh, that end. There we go. 05 screws, none left in the packet, goes in the bin. You know what's going to be faster? If I use the scissors of cutting. Scissors of happiness and cutting. These are 04s. Daisy, in out. 04s. There we go. Check out my car. Oops. These are 02s. Like what we breathe every day. Thank you very much. Like and subscribe. 02s. Yes. Yeah, oh, there's a lot of screws in there. Ooh, a lot of O2 screws. Fox, if you have a hot glue gun, you can use a dob of hot glue to hold the wires in place. I actually do have a hot glue gun, <gasps> but I don't know where it is. I, I put it away somewhere and I've got no idea. I had to tidy up in it. Yeah, I've got one somewhere. <clears throat> right. <gasps> Ted's here. Yay. Welcome, Tedward. Welcome, dude. So I'm going to put them to one side carefully because I don't want them to explode. So let's have a look and see what we need. We need the Gossen component gewarten. Put that engine bit there out of the way. Uh, line the wing and engine mount like this, you see. Put them screws there. Got to move carefully. I don't want to be knocking things around. Uh, right. So we need to have the engine mount and the wing thing here. Like that, to see. Can you imagine the trouble Fox will get into with hot glue? I've used hot glue before, I think, at some point, probably. Possibly. Put the parts together so that the five holes indicated it line up with the lugs. Lugs, your great lug on the engine mount. Uh, so. 
there. Maybe. I see what you did there. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Uh... No. Okay. Uh, X to O two screws in all five holes. Every hole needs a number two. I shall therefore apply a number two to every hole. Firstly, this hole here. I'm only going to I'm going to do it loosely for each hole, one by one. I'm not going to put every screw in straight up the right tightness straight away. You are doing anything like this. Uh, never just bam the first screw in and tighten it all the way and then do the next screw. You want to build up the stress, because especially because you're going to be plastic. You're screwing plastic to plastic. You want to build up the stress across all the different components equally. If you put all the if you put the first screw in all the way in, that's massive stress on there when there's nothing at this end and it's stress it's bending it that way. You're stressing it in a specific direction. If you do it bit by bit, slowly and carefully, then getting it nicely balanced. The other reason I like this screwdriver is because it's magnetic. Magnetic? That's not even a word. Magnetic, even. We're going to go around each screw now, doing it a couple of turns each time. I think I'm on camera. Yes, I'm on camera. A couple of goes each time just to gradually tighten those up. We go around. I appreciate all you're going to see is the back of my hand when I'm doing this. No, I've not got my visor on and my aim's terrible today for some reason. Do, 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 do. A bit more on that one because it was looser than the others. This way, it just, it just, it's a way to hopefully even up the stress on the plastic so it's fairly, you know, balanced and not just all on one part at one time. And I'm not going to go too tight. I don't want to be super tight here. There we go. That is now attached. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Uh, Chris says, wait, why is Ted, 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 why are you logged in as Ted Hawksworth and not Skipper Scale Models? Are you on the wrong account? Are you on the wrong account there, Ted? Ted Fellow Hawk says, Model Maker Mayhem, and Chris says, damn it, now I've got the theme tune. <laughs> I'll find out why, says Ted, because you just logged in as the wrong account, dude. Sign out and sign in as Skipper Scale Models. You sign in as your personal account. So just give us all your card details. Uh, align the smaller engine mount bracket uh, brace with the assembly. That's the funny thing. I've done these steps already now, but I've forgotten them because it was hundreds of years ago. Uh, this needs to go here. Like there, you see? Uh, fit it to the engine mount like this. See, these are the easy bits. I don't mind these bits. These are easy. easy peasy. It's easy peasy screwing things. Uh, okay, then you need the align the inner wing frame with the assembly. Is that one? Which goes here. There's lovely. Yeah, see, there you are. Look at that. Totally not the right color. All right, and then we have. Align the larger engine mount brace with the assembly. This needs to go. Ah, is it? Like that. Lovely. Kill the smell. Uh, this is I am returned. Bane Blade says Raging, uh, Raging Modeler. Two pounds. Thank you very much. Super chat. Two pounds there. Thank you very much. Very, very kind of you. Bane. Bane Blade. Broadsword. Broadsword. Bane Blade. Thank you very much, Raging Modeler. It's very kind of you. Uh, I need two more XWO2 screws. This needs to go in here. Are you on camera? Yeah. I decided to do this as a live stream today because I'm filming this. Hang on, that improperly. That might be a helpful idea, might not it? Get in the hole. There you go. There you go. It's better. Uh, yeah, filming this. 
is kind of a pain. It's not a pain. But filming is always a bit of a, a pain compared to live streaming. Now, live streaming is never the best quality in the world. Don't get me wrong. Filming will always be higher quality audio and video and everything else. It's different equipment I use. Uh, I need to do these two up here. Um, but of course, for something like this, where I've got like nine issues to fill. That's a long, drawn out process. And I think rather than you sit and watching an hour long episode where I'm doing six issues and it's, you know, an hour long video can be a week of work, not just a few hours of work. So it could be three or four days worth of work. And for something like this, where it's just me, you know, screwing and combobulating and stuff, I think I'd much rather spend my time doing it as a live stream, having interaction with you guys in the chat. Screw is not going in properly. Screw, I think, is sheared. Not just spinning free. It's in, it's just spinning freely. Huh? Um, weird. Yeah, I think it's more fun to just have company while I'm doing this rather than do a pre-recorded video. I'd rather spend my pre I'd rather spend my filming budget time on, you know, proper stuff. Proper builds. Uh you know, like the Falcon or... I mean, the Falcon I'm doing live streams for the building part just because it's really boring to film and it's a really long, drawn-out process. So for that, that is a good idea. Um, but yeah, I'd rather spend my filming budget time on proper things like proper painting videos and stuff like, you know, the Tabletop Trauma Center or me Bane Blades or me Macarius Vanquisher or me Kshatriya and stuff like that. Proper build series paint series things like this it's just me doing what's in the magazine so if you if you're watching it you're gonna have the magazine to do yourself anyway so it's not really any don't need to teach you anything uh four drive x we have four screws through these two holes the larger engine mount brace these two, two number fours okay come back and the beauty of it is, of course, if I did, if I film this as a video, it could be a few days work. And I don't really have a few days to spare to do it. But if I do it as a live stream, it's one afternoon. I'm caught up. Only every five weeks we get these. I'm caught up in one afternoon. And I can spend my time then cracking on with the Falcon. Otherwise, I'm taking, you know, a big chunk of a week out just for this, which is effectively... Right there, screwdriver, which is effectively just me following the magazine that you'll have as well if you're doing this part by yourself. These screws don't want to go in very well, not being very friendly, but they're in. Well, them Tommy is a voice of a yard, that's his and that screw doesn't want to go in. Oh, but it's in, it's locked in, so it's fine. Use more O4 screws to secure the inner wing frame to the outer wing frame in all three of these holes. There go. Get, I'm using their, old, their screwdriver now purely because it fits the head better. But yeah, this way I can get this done in an afternoon. Give you guys a place to hang out and chat. A bit more fun than just sitting watching me do it for an hour. And it doesn't take me three or four days to do it all. I can just get it done and done. I don't remember these screws being such a challenge the last time I did one of these wings. Yeah, yeah I didn't have this problem last time. Whoops, Daisy. Hmm. I don't think this screwdriver was actually magnetic. I think I actually had to rub a magnet across this just to get it to be magnetic. This is not lining up well at all, this. I can't get this screw to go in. Hmm. These holes aren't actually lining up correctly. 
That's annoying. Kenneth's in. Hey, Kenneth. How you doing, buddy? Hope you are well, my friend. That one's gone in okay. Do, 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 do. I am lovely as usual, says Chris at Gross Models. Your mileage may vary. <laughs> How was your day at work, dear? Did you did you do many clock based things? Did you sell many clocks and watches? Yeah, this last screw does not want to go in at all well. It's gone in now. He's not happy about it. It may never it's not exactly flush either. I don't want to force it, but like that. I do not like that. I may be bold and leave that screw out, I think. Possibly. Because for some reason it's not lining up at all well. Hello. Another O4 screw, just to make sure it's not just that specific screw, perhaps. Because it needs to go through this piece of metal and the piece of metal below it. And it's. Hmm. It's not fitting flush, but I don't think that'll be a problem. I don't think. I'm hoping. If it is, I can always take that screw back out again. Uh, okay. mm. Oh, Kenneth's actually going off to bed because he's Australia. That's six of you in Australia now watching. Uh, take care, Kenneth. Sleep well, buddy. Edward, morning. I've woken up to watch the fox. Thank you for waking up to me. Shouldn't probably. That's a weird thing to say, I know. I'm going to leave that screw out, actually. Because there are other screws that are going to hold it in place. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, so I need number three screw. Let's go back to my good screwdriver. Number three screw, which needs to go in that. Yeah, it's not fitting flush, and I think that the hole in this part doesn't quite line up with the hole in this part. And there's no real move, room for me to manoeuvre that, so... Be safe all, says Kenneth, and you, mate. Chris never has issues with his X-Wing. Because <laughs> Chris is lovely, apparently. Uh, followed by another three in this hole. That needs to go there. Yeah, I've had some issues with mine. I've had tubes that didn't fit, and... One of my cannons was a bit wibbly wobbly, and this screw isn't going in because it's not pushed down far enough. There you go, that's better. There we go. That's better. Yeah, that's actually, I mean, if, if I don't put that screw in, it's kind of not the end of the world. Looking at it, I don't think it's really lined up. It's like the two holes are just ever so slightly off like that. So the screw's going at a funny angle and therefore sticking out a bit. And I don't think it's going to be an issue with this. One missing screw isn't going to cause any problems, I don't think. Uh, more, more. Right, so now we need to drive three, two screws of these holes and the smaller engine brace, which is her. Many men are doing lots of screw. What did you do today, dear? I watched Fox screwing. Moving on. In other news. How is everyone? I hope you're all well. I hope you're all doing fine and dandy. I'm fine today. It's a very cold day today. And I thought to myself, I'm going to have my window. I'll put the heating on because it's a bit cold and chilly and moist. Uh, and it turned out, apparently, uh, it's actually really warm in here now. Yeah, that, that one single screw missing. I mean, that screw sticking out as well, to be perfectly honest. Maybe I should just go for it and just biscuit for a biscuit i don't think anything needs to be specifically flush in place there to i don't think it's going to like foul anything if you know what i mean by sticking up it might do i don't know we'll find out we will find out 
In fact, no, I know it will because I've got the piece of plastic to cover that, haven't I? I have to take that out. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. That one's sticking up as well, though. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll figure it out. Right, now's the fun bit. Yeah. And you know when I say fun, I don't actually mean fun. I mean hellscape. Uh, oh, not finished yet. Hang on. No, not finished yet. Uh, four holes. XWO5. So I've got one, two, three, four. Okay. Number five. There's a dog outside barking. But I don't mind because it's a bit, it sounds like a big dog. I don't mind when a big dog barks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That one. Do, 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 It's a very cold day. That might be why you can't get it in the hole. It's too inept. Very good. Here all week, try the fish. Nicole Steve says a few screws left off my Falcon because they either wouldn't just fit or there were connectors missing and it hasn't fallen apart yet. Nah, this one be fine. I might take that other screw out of the other corner because that one's not fitting brilliantly either. And I'm acutely conscious that that's not going in either. Hang on. I'm acutely aware that there is a plastic cover on here that has to go over that wire that's not going to sit in the holes. And be uncooperative, so I don't want those screws sticking up and fouling it. So we might have to just, I mean, it's fine. There's enough screws on this one particular component that I think it'll be safe. Like, if I take this screw here out now, that's also sticking up a little tiny bit. Is that a four? It was a. Yeah, it was a four, yes. That's, it's not suddenly going to fall apart just because of those two screws not being in there. It's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. Dog is having a right old bark out there. See, I don't mind big dogs. Could big dogs just go woof? Or maybe woof woof, but it's little dogs that just go woof 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 for about half an hour that you just want to drop a piano on. That's that one in. She's also sticking up a little bit, but never mind. Hello, Mama Fox. Hello. Yeah, right. Right, now we have the fun slash not fun. Could be a small dog barking. No, it sounds like a big dog. Woo. Drill and retap it. I know what those words mean individually, Ted, but no. No. Not going to happen, is it? Straighten this one. I'm sitting there straighten this wire out off camera, which is not very helpful for you guys. Right, so we'll get this little label off because that's going to get in the way. Do me. I'm kind of hoping with a lot of this model that when it comes to the painting process, I won't have to do a lot of disassembly. Right. Uh, uncoil the laser cannon cable and straighten it, then press the plug on end. That one, I guess. Into the recess near the hole in the wing tip. Right, so this is where we have to uh, start praying to the gods of inconvenience now to ignore us for a little bit. Because this is where it gets grumpy. Do, 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 diddle, do, 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 do. This needs to root around these little nodules. I'm going to get my little spudger. Spudger! It's supposed to lock itself in between the little tab that sits there and the metal frame. Which you think would work, but it just quite doesn't. 
doesn't quite give it enough locked in place grip which is most frustrating and the first time I did this of course I don't think you get the cover piece yet so the first time I did this I had to put it back in the box for three weeks of course you know just got it out of the box again it was all exploded I'm like oh lunge that needs to sit in there but it's not going to lock into place of course I'm also acutely aware that I'm squishing the cable which is not a great idea corner there right little pair of little clampy bits there it's getting it to wiggle around while you put it into place without it popping out of the other bit you've just put it into place in wrong end fox It is the wrong end, you're right. Damn it. Why it went in so easily. It says the plug on end. That's a socket. That's a plug. If you ask me, that's a socket. Don't know. Doodly do do doodly do. It's been a few it's been a couple of months since I did this last, so. Uh, and you'll need that label. Ah, it's too late now. <laughs> ah, well, never mind. We'll live. Right, so that's that way. Oh, there's, there is a picture that shows you that bit. Okay, I'll let them off. I'll let them off. I don't know. Part timers can't get the work. Can't get the staff even. There, that goes around that little nodule. Nodule. Today on Car Crash Assembly with Fox, I pride myself on nothing but the most inept. It's hashtag Team Inept. Like and subscribe. That needs to root round there. On camera as well would also be ideal. That needs to now go over yonder a ways. See where it gets tricksy now, you see. You may have issues when connecting everything up at the end of the build. Why? Please don't tell me I have to take all this crap apart again. If I get all this assembled and for some reason the lighting doesn't work or I have to take it apart again, then it's just not going to be lit. <laughs> you know what? It's not got lighting in it now. How is that? Down the back of that. Apparently. Allegedly. I'm trying to get the wire behind some of these pegs without actually breaking the wire in the process is quite a tricky endeavour. Because it's kind of bigger than the gap between the plastic parts. And it always makes me nervous about trying to force wires behind things with any kind of tool scenario. I forgot about this. Remember, keep in mind I'm a painter, not a builder. So this is massive challenge time to me. If he's left the other labels on, it should be fine, he says. No, I don't know. Possibly. I don't like this peg. It's not letting me get the wire behind it. I don't want to knack of the wire. In there now. There we go. Finally. Uh, that goes there. This now needs to root behind that one. There you see. Where there is a decent gap. Thank you. This is actually easier than the first one I did, which was a little more fiddly and tight corners. That needs to go.
those two. Is that on camera? Yeah, just about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Quickly checking the. Uh... I'm getting worried now that I took that label off this cable and you're all telling me that was a really bad thing to do. I can't imagine why you'd need to know that later on. I'm marking the wings as wings one, two, three, and four, so I don't know if that why it would make a difference, but uh right, so there we have tear wire sticking out. Leaving three end coming through the notch of the ring route. That completes this stage. Please do not move this now at all ever until you're ready to put the cover over the top, otherwise it will explode. Thanks. There we go, done. So that is issue 28 done. Yes. I'll put that to one side. You thought that was fiddly. Wait till we get to those little silver components on the engine. Oh. <sighs> issue 29. Quick look at chat. Uh, explain to me why removing that label was a bad idea. So I don't do it again. Because I don't understand why taking the little tiny label off the wire would be bad. <laughs> And straight in, we're do yeah, we're doing yo. Oh, uh, this goes to one side. I'm running out of sides to put things on. <clears throat> this is where the swearing starts now, big styling. Issue number twenty-nine. Wait, are we? There we go. Yes. <sighs> Close up my little thing of screws for safety porpoises. You need to know which wire is which, but why would I need to know that? If I've assembled it, why would I? Apart from, oh, ask, okay, so it's, if I'm putting like wings, all right, wires one, two, three, and four from each wing. Yeah, okay, I could maybe see that. Might make sense. I'll figure it out. What number was on that wire? I can't even remember now. What can possibly go wrong? Worst case story, if the electrics don't work and the lighting doesn't work, yeah, it's still an X-Wing. <laughs> Nothing left in the bag. Yes. Oh, God. Because you have to wire stuff. When you plug the cables into the circuit board in issue 67. How are you guys that far ahead? These are number one screws. I do, uh, okay, what number wire was that then? Can somebody scroll back on the thing and tell me what number wire that was? And I'll, I'll make a little sticker on it. Because I did that other one in the laser as well, didn't I? I took the thing off that as well. But that's the thing, though. If I built that, if I built the tab, the tab could be inside here, and I've taken the whole wing apart again to remember which one it was. There's no guarantee I would have built it with a little label sticking out. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm going to immediately forget everything now and not worry about it. These are number one screws. I'm sure by a process of elimination, I can, I can uh, figure it out. Uh, if anyone helps him, I'm banning them, says Paul at Team Inept. Chris, we might not get to your stream today. Wait, Chris, are you doing a stream today? On a Friday? What? I didn't know you were doing a stream. Are you doing a stream today, Chris? I was not aware of that. Uh, right. First step. Diddle dip, -a diddle dip, dip, dip. Dead nice and easy. Can't go wrong with this one. Yes, you can. Stream at 7 pm. Oh, yeah, of course you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. We'll be done by then. Don't worry about that. Probably. It's only, it's only come up to 3 o'clock. Got 3 hours yet. I don't like these. Things where you get two sides of a clamshell and you can't get them out without exploding. <clears throat> I've only been streaming on Fridays for two months. Yeah, I know. I think I'd already taken account of it, but I suddenly thought, hang on, this can't be an afternoon stream, can it? Right, there we go. Up there. 
get rid of that little thing in there. Make sure there's nothing in there. No. Yeah, I'm looking, not looking forward to this one. So we got these two parts together. Now you could sit there and get rid of seam lines and glue this together. And, but you know what? Once this goes into place, you see about that much. And once I've glued it together and painted everything, you're going to see even less. So I'm not really too far. Because at the end of the day, ultimately, I'm not going to be able to sell this because it's so big, I won't be able to ship it anywhere. So it's just good for me. Right. Take the short, thick pipe and align the D shaped lug on the end with the matching hole in the upper half of the input unit, which is up there. We want the D shaped pipe. Pipes. I want me D shaped tweezers. We've also got all these as well. I'll put them there. I don't think we need them just yet, though. Uh, that one there. And we want the D-shaped thing with the D-shaped thing there, like that. That goes in the hole there. It was, oh, no. It almost goes in the hole. That goes in the hole there. It was just like there, just like. Dad, Dad, you're going to like Fallout 4. It's like Skyrim with guns. It's great. But you need... You need the mods that I'm going to send you to make it awesome. Uh, press the pipe all the way in. Yes. Always something I do. Two manifolds are mirror images of each other. I like the fact they actually call them manifolds because they basically are. I don't know if this detail was on the filming miniature though. Because these basically are engine manifolds. This is basically an engine block. So if it was on the studio model. It's just, you know, what they've cobbled together. But I don't know if this detail was on there. So that one needs that dog needs to actually shut up now. It was it was fun at first. Now it's just kind of annoying. So that one's there. That one is. There. Oops. Let's take this one. I may need my spell space helmet of seeing for this. That in there, and those two in there. Like that goes in there, and then comes out because I pushed it too far. You pushed it too far now. You've, you've ruined it. You pushed it too far, lad. That. Uh, uh, repeat 68 with the other manifold. Manifold. Look, let your dog in or feed it or something, but just stop it barking. It's annoying now. Right, that was easier than I did the first time I did this. What I need to do now is I'm going to be weird. Glue that in place. You took the label off the end that you're not going to be able to see later on anyway. Good. I've stopped listening to about that now. I'll just assume it's all going to be fine. Otherwise, I'll just break down into a pile of self-doubt. Now, I know this may take the uh, paint off. But that's fine. All this is going to get repainted anyway. Paul DiTomaso is back. Hey, Paul. You can't have got some sleep, surely. You've been an hour. Take the rectangular plates. Ooh. We want uh, this side now, I think. With the three lugs on the back, align it with the three holes in the lower half of the blah, 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 blah words. Uh, yes, because one of these has two big lugs and a little bit, and one of them has two lugs. So I need to, and you see how this has got like a little depressed area there, and that one hasn't. I know which is which and which way around it needs to go. Click into that. Kaplink, kaplink. Und also. This one here needs to do the same on the other side. There we go. With the gap at the bottom here, you see? Yeah. Press the plates firmly into place. Firmly look at the muscularity. Firmly, but they don't fit brilliantly. Yeah. 
Now you need the label, now you've turned it around and you never said the number on the label. Okay, you can stop talking about that label now before you give me a neurosis. Right, take the four short pipes that curve this way. Woo! They curve that way, you see. This is where it starts to get a pain in the I'm going to get my little helmet of seeing out now because this is where it starts to become a pain in the bum. If I remember rightly. Like, which are the ones that curve that way? They are those ones. That was a good guess in that case, Fox. I've learnt now from the first one. Don't just get all these pipes out. Keep them in the separate things because you just get more hassle. Dad went back to watch like you told him to. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks, Dad. I never said the number on the label. Oh. Oh, well, never mind. Not to worry. Right. Fit the curved end of the rectangular plate for the end of the manifold. So that way is... Yeah, this is the kind of thing where you need five pairs of hands now, isn't it, if I remember rightly? It's that way. Because you've got to make it connect to the manifold and the engine block and stay in place. And it really doesn't want to... <clears throat> there's no way that would stay in without being glued which is about to be it is about to have the glue it's have it it's glue the crap out of it again i'm not too fussed Paul says, thank you very much for the super chat. Paul says, or Crimer says, easy peas, it's only labels. <laughs> right, there's that one. Now, I remember there was a way to do this that was, if you do it the wrong way, I might have got it the wrong way around now. You have to start at one end and work your way down, otherwise you can't do it the other way around. And I think it was the way I'm doing it. I think, that, I think, I'm hoping I've done this right. Thank you very much, Crimer. You're not always criming. Sometimes you're doing kind things and doing nice things, like supporting me. In the hole there. You go in the hole. And apologies if all you get in, in this bit is just the top of my head. But you are going to get a lot at the top of my head for this bit. Oz. I just want to really go into that hole very well. This is where it gets fiddly. Go in there. On. Get in the hole. There. Yes, if I remember right, because these overlap each other. So if you start at this end, you're kind of having to slip each one underneath the last one which is rubbish if you start at that end i think i've got this right i'm hoping i've got this right if you start at this end and work your way back that's more commonsensical and like i said i'm not fussed about the paint coming off because this, this is going to get repainted no, it's not not fiddly. If you were doing this without gluing, these can be coming off every five seconds. You'd be swearing. The first time I tried this, I tried assembling it first and then gluing, <clears throat> and it was just garbage. But now I'm doing it this way, and I'm not doing it from the back forward. It's actually not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, I think I, when I first did this, I started from that end that way. Uh, and also, I would try to put them all on first at once. And it's like, nope, that was the wrong thing to do, Fox. Do it this way. And you will have happiness. Happiness. No, no, copyright, don't do that. But there's, I can't see how these would even begin to stay on without being glued. I don't envy anyone who hasn't got ABS suitable glue and he's trying just to snap fit this because they won't stay on they'll fall off no problem they will fall off there we go lovely that was a lot easier this was the step that was giving me nightmares but that was actually a lot easier than the first time I did it I didn't even have to do a swear or anything <laughs> 
right on wing one has on wing has one and two the other has three and four so when you fit the engine we can work out. i think it was number four i think it was number four i think that was number four i'm going to label it number four good reminding there i'm pretty sure it said four i even still have a little bit of label that i threw in the bin i can see one that says three that's not helpful So that might have been the first one. Ah, well. I'll assume it's four. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Label on that. Cutting. Thank you very much for checking. Uh, uh, I need a pen to write on the number four. Four. Done. Thank you very much, detectives. Detectives. Oh, sniffly nose. Ah. Uh. Sniffles. Right, where are we up to? Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed again by two months. Now released November 19th, says Eon's car. Ah, uh, well. I need to uh, wipe my nose because I've got the nose dribbles, as always. Lid on my glue. Think what would have happened if we took all the labels off the wires on nuclear submarine? Well, the thing is, it doesn't actually say anywhere, don't pull this label off. And the thing is, if I'm building the wing, what if the label is like in here and I've built the wing and then it says, right, make sure you've got the wire label for, and I'd be like, well, the label's in. The, in... So, hmm. I think the other thing as well to keep in mind is when it does come to doing the, the wires and the labels, I can't remember if I kept the. I don't think I've kept the. I don't remember seeing the labels on the other wings, but it may just be that they are perhaps inside the wing. The dad's sending me a message, I think. Hang on, you asked to go look and look, mister. Yes, I did. Thanks, dad. I didn't realise you actually had done that. Yeah. Um, yeah, when it comes to doing this, it'll say take cables and the other wi wings will be labelled, I guess. So I don't know. I don't remember seeing. I don't remember worrying about the labels on the other wing. Ah, uh, we'll find out. We'll f tell you what. Wait there. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I Hang on. I had to go in the storage room of many spiders. Let me see what is on the other wing because I can't remember now. Uh, let's have a look. Right, there's the other one. The other one has no label on that one either. But I don't remember taking the label off that one. Oh, I see because you've got two wires. You need to know which is which. Okay, that makes sense. No idea. I can't honestly, I assume the label is inside the wing somewhere on those. I guess. I'd have to test them first and see which does which. That is the option, of course. Yes, yeah, so you've got like the lasers and the engines, I guess. So you need to know which is which to plug it into the control board. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Ugh. It might just mean doing a quick test connection with the testing box. Probably just ripped them off. I don't think I did. I think they're probably inside. How hard can it be? Connect this one for your laser cannon. Okay, so I just get the test box and go. That's the laser cannon. It doesn't say anywhere in the mag. If they don't tell you in advance to watch for these things, then it can't be. 
Where's my tech gone? Then it's... Oh, it's there. Yeah, if you don't say in advance, make sure this number is visible on the outside of the wing, then the, they can't assume that everyone will do that. Seems fairly reasonable. So I'm going to guess that was three. Let's label that one, shall we? Oops. Yeah, put label on that. And we shall cut. There we go. Get rid of that. A pen of magic work writings. They also don't tell you to rip them off. No, true. Well, how many people have built that and the label's actually been stuck inside the wing? Because it was moving up and down the wing a little bit, so there's no guarantee that when it comes to the wire sticking out the wing, it's where that label is. So, ah, you see, yeah. I don't look half as stupid as I am, you know. Engine for the laser cannon is three. The engine is cable four. Okay, so for the other wing then, that's going to be one and two. But we don't know which is which. I will hazard a guess and say for the other wing, uh, the cable for the laser cannon will be one and the engine will be two. The same. So, let's find out which is which. All I do is just this basically. Uh, cable for the laser cannon is three on the engine. For, oh, okay, I've got you. I understand. Right, let me take them off then. Actually, just suddenly read what you'd written as I have to read it out. So let me adjust those. Right, I need to change those around. Hang on a minute. Uh, yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah. Right. Get these back off again and we'll correct those. Gentlemen, remove your labels. Right, now if you can tell me which is which then for the other wing, I'm going to guess on the first wing the laser cannon was one and the engine was two. See, if I'd just done this as a video, I wouldn't have found all that out. You see, and we're just taking those labels off and not giving it a second thought. I think the labels are actually on the inside of the wing, though, in the other one. I don't remember taking them off. Easily fixed with a bit of a label. There we go. That should be four. Watch it not go through a hole now. Right, where's my pen? Where's me? Where did I put that pen? It is. Engine is four. Do it. Yeah. Do, 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 do. And where's me other bit? That should be then three, shouldn't it? So we'll make that three. <laughs> It wouldn't be one of my streams if I didn't goof something up. Come on, let's be honest. The only reason you watch is to watch me mess things up. And I'm fine with that because you're still watching at the end of the day. We learn by doing... I make the mistakes, so you don't have to. That's my in my contract. It's my shtick. Uh. I should point out that it, it took a while before anybody said you shouldn't have taken those stickers off. <laughs> yeah, totally passed the blame back on to you guys. So this should be three. I hate writing the number three. It's a really hard number to write with a big fat sharpie. There we go. There we go. So that goes over there. What I shall do with this one, as I don't know which one was which, is one or two. Uh, let's test them. Let's see what this one is. This one is... That is the not engine. It's the laser. 
this one is that one is neither of those are actually working that's not a good state of affairs at all that's a little worrying hey you know all those wires you fed through yeah they don't work anymore arse oh no that's the engine that's the engine that one and this one is I really see that's the laser there we go right so I don't know which is one and which is two but I know that's the laser so we'll get some labels on them if anyone can quickly find out <laughs> which is one and two otherwise I'll just mark them L and E and then I'll know which is which for these two nothing that can't be fixed See, this is why I like to do live streams because you guys help me out. Oh, I'm not a builder, I'm a painter. I don't do the buildy nonsense. You're painting. Nope, not bothering you. Just don't get the hunt when I do, lol. I don't get the hunt, Dad. I forgot I'd asked people to do that. Eminently grateful that you did. Right, so just double check that is wing one laser cannons is cable one, cool. which is that one. Yes, it is a pen. Love you, really, Dad. You know I do. You know I do. That's number one. And engines, just to double check. All the double checking in the world now. Like engines is number two. So two. Numero zwei. There we go. Lovely. You watch now. It'll come to the assembly part and it'll be like, yeah, you didn't need to worry about that. It's dead easy. And I'll be like, oh, it's hot. There we go. Right. Put that back in the box. Get back in your box. There we go. Right. Where were we up to? I don't know. Thank you, Dad, for your help on that matter. Most appreciated. Right. Hey, swig of coffee. Oh. Let's crack on. So we've got to do these more manifoldy bits. Which, let's guess, let's guess. Yes, these ones. How did I possibly know that? Ooh. Also, I'm aware that uh, more Draco put a capital Z in the middle of laser. I'll let you get away with that one. I'll let that one pass, I think. So I think these are going to overlap from the front again. So go from the front back. I don't know which is which. Uh, oops, no, or maybe not. I won't get them there. If it will allow me. The courtesy of doing what it's meant to do. Then we'll be happy. 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 Oh, oh. The, the difficulty with this one is it's the other side of the engine, and for some reason, I'm trying to do it with my left hand, which is a bad idea for a start. As I am, in fact, right handed. But also, it doesn't seem to want to work as nicely. Get in, soul! Yeah. You know how I said the other one went together really nicely and this this one yeah this one's now being a pain in the bum. And the fox, you make the mistake so we don't have to. I know. I'm going to guess that wherever you are, Phil Lewis, you're well in advance of the uh, of the subscription. I need to file that down a bit, I think it's got some, a little bit of flash ah on it. It's a little bit flashy. A little bit of flash on there that's stopping it going in. A little bit of sanding. There we go. There's that dog again. Hello, dog. Woof. Woof. Yes, I hear you. Let's see if we can get that in this time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
Are we in? Are we in? Are we in? Are we in? Oh no, not quite. Little tinker. That's the wrong hole though. It went in and but the wrong way. Don't be giving me grief now. Flash on this bit as well. Do you know? If you're going to make plastic models, at least make them, you know, not covered in flash. Ravel's job. Nobody does that job as well as Ravel, so don't even try. Oh, actually, well, then, yeah, it's a Larry. Yeah, maybe. A little bit of flash on there that's stopping it going in the hole. Eh. Right there. Okay, now. You're giving me grief now. It was going so well. And then all of a sudden, stopped going so well. Right, let's try a different one because that piece is clearly just being a pain in the bum. Go in there. You. Yeah, it's weird because it's a little curvy pipe at a funny angle. It's really hard to get hold of and get a grip of. You can't. Hard to get any purchase on it. I went full. What I'm going to do, I'm going to widen those holes. Tiny bit. Because are going to get glued in anyway, so. Bit of Carvey Carvey. Bit of Jim Carver. Right. I'll wait until he gets them on and then text. You know, you put the when you write it out loud, it kind of ruins the surprise a bit. Then, right. The next two hours, I'll try and get these bits on, and then the dog won't morph. Yay! Hello, big dog. See how the first one went together like a dream. This one, I was just being complete ass. Can't push that into the thing because it's can't get my thumb behind it. Ah, oh, that's in. No, oh, seriously, messing with my chi. Finally, that's good enough for me. Finally. Zaku beads intensifier says Beckstorm. Yeah, it's not quite that level of stress. I don't have to sand all these parts, but not far off. Right, that one. You know you've knocked off the other side, right? <laughs> yeah, I did worry about that. Right, the next one that's going to be even more of a pain because I've got the one underneath it to worry about now as well. Ugh. You can't really do it with tweezers because they're shiny and not grippable, so... They just spin round in your tweezers, which is equally annoying. Still flash on there. Flash off. Flash on, flash off. Right, let's try that. How is everyone? Anyway, I hope you're all well. I think I'm still in trouble with Dad. I get grumpy when things are getting conf confusing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Am I still in trouble, Dad? Mm -hmm. I'm in the doghouse. Get in the hole. Oh! <laughs> No, nah, you're not. I love all my kids. I am the biggest kid of all. Thanks, Dad. Oh, do you know? Oh! I know what I just said about tweezers, but I'm going to be here all night if I don't at least try. I know you just see in the top of my head right now, but... Okay. Tweezers actually worked. 
Almost. That's not quite in. Because you can't just push it into place, you see, because it's, it's a compound curve and it's not anything you can push against. Quite straightforward. I love all my kids, says Dad. And Paul says, what, even the ginger one? Ian, Tam Ian Thompson says, no. And Chris says, he's adopted. Yeah, the ginger one's always adopted. The funny thing is, like, by uh, me and my brothers, I'm kind of, you know, I'm five foot eight, and I've got sort of mousy coloured hair. Those mousy brown hair, I guess. I don't really know. When I was a kid, it was like bleach blonde hair. It was like white almost. But, you know, it's basically just I've got average, average brown hair. Uh, my eldest brother, he also is, he's a bit taller than me, he's, he's more like 5 foot 11 or something, almost getting to 6 foot, but he's also with the with the, the sort of generic, average, mousy brown hair. And then there's our middle brother, who is shorter, and had almost more ready hair and it's like wait what we used to make the joke that he was the milkman's son because he had different hair he had kind of curly hair for a start more curly hair uh he had he was short compared to us shorter uh, and he was also the sciencey one with the brains whereas me and my brother were the arty farty types with the drawing and the stuff the music my middle brother was the logical one with the science and the on this musical frippery and we used to joke and say we're sure he's the milkman's son because he's nothing like me and my brother but then imagine our surprise later on in life given the fact he was the science one um actually describing his hair color while filling the screen with it was i was my hair there Woo, yes Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, imagine our surprise when later on in life he says, he actually, he said, do you know, I actually quite like country and western. We're like, um, where the hell did that just come from? What? You're like, the, you're an engine, he literally is an engineer. I mean, for real, he's an engineer. It's his job. He is the most engineer engineer you can imagine. And, you know, and yeah, he, yeah, I like country and western. Uh, where did that just come from? Never expressed interest in music at all. <clears throat> I got in so much trouble for that on Monday. What? Got in trouble for what? I've lost the thread there of whatever we're talking about. Yes, if you are making this, you will need glue. For these bits trust me if you want them to just stay on more than two minutes you're going to want to glue these bits in and you want a glue that works i assume because the rest of this is abs i assume this is abs as well so you're probably best served getting yourself a plastic uh, glue either a universal glue like the um what's this called deluxe plastic magic which works on ABS, but also works on other metals, just in case these parts aren't ABS. Oh, the looking at camera made Gemma laugh and fall over. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't make Gemma fall over. Yeah, so Plastic Magic, it works on ABS. So if these bits are ABS, that's fine. If they're not, then they're stuck anyway, because it works on other plastics as well. I think Milkman are making a bit of a comeback in some areas due to the chocolate of Velociraptor. They are. Right, that's the bit I was dreading. Well, one of the bits I was dreading, and it wasn't quite as bad as I thought. I'm gonna put that back there. Go there. You go there, young man. There you go. There you are. <sighs> well, that was less horrible than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, take this flattened D-shaped pipe and fit the pins into the ends in the holes. Flattened D-shaped pipe, you say? Let me get these parts out now so we can see them. Flattened D-shaped pad. Whoop, there we go. And this needs to go where now? On this bit. Ah. I like the fact they mould this one. Well, they have this one as a separate piece, but the other two are just moulded in. We've had three parts there, you know. Padded that out for a bit. 
Padded out your park out. Having said all that, the problem I've just had with those three, those four parts, this one is going together a lot easier than the first one of these that I did. And maybe it's just because I know what to expect because I've done one already. Or maybe there's just something between the production runs. Because remember, the, the first laser cannon I had had the wibbly wobbly tubes. I had to super glue it into place with extra stuff. Uh, this piece of pipework fits into the holes shown by the arrows. That one. Where are your arrows? Your arrows are here. Yep. Yep. And uh, that needs to go that way. And they are shown by these holes here. That and then onto here like that. Again, remember these are going into a compound curved surface, so they're not actually as easy to push in. It's not like pushing in into a flat surface because you have to get them at the right angle. Which, when you're trying to grab a spinny thing, is not that easy. Oh, it went in. Yeah, oh, nearly went in. It went in and came out again. Whoa. Yes, I said to Mama Fox, what do you want for dinner today? She went, McDonald's. I'm not going to argue with Mama Fox. What's McDonald's? She gets McDonald's. That's the in and out of it. The simple up and down of it. Uh, well, that's interesting, says Phil Lewis. Just check mine and couldn't see any labels on the wiring for the first wing. Check the mags and there weren't any labels for that wing. Fox, you're in the clear. Yes! Because I noticed, if you look at this, not this magazine now. If you look in the issue, it doesn't actually mention them and it doesn't show a label on the wire either. There's no labels on that. But the thing you have to remember about part works uh, is, and this is why there's a little bit of tolerance with things changing, like the, for example, when the, first, the first one of these I made was an absolute ball lake because the bits they didn't go together very well and everything was falling off all the time i think with these part works i think they can they can they have the luxury of being able to update things as they go along so for example where we've got that little piece saying that the, the instructions were wrong i think maybe sometimes they modify things as they go along and some things get updated which is cool but awesome i'm i, I, I have to say because that's what I was, I was thinking to myself i don't remember seeing stickers the first time i did this I don't remember the numbered stickers, which means in that case, it's not that the stickers are inside my wing. They just, they weren't there. I'm vindicated. Thank you very much, Phil. Uh, that wire is sort of in, but not brilliantly, but it'll do. It will do. Press it firmly into place. Eh, Kajit is pressing firmly. Nothing is happening. Kajit has X-Wing if you have counts. Yes, Dad. Fallout 4. Kajit needs to push hard. <laughs> yeah. Are mold, mold lines triggering anyone else? Um, they would trigger me normally. Like that there. Absolutely. But you know when this is finished? You'll see that. Kind of. You'll see about that much. And... I'll be repainting it anyway, and you're not going to see. Yeah. And don't forget, though, what I will do is, once this is all built, I will be taking some of it apart, because I'll be repainting it. I will be taking some of it apart, so there will be parts where I need to do things like, if I, if I need to get rid of that mould line, I would do. Because it's going to get repainted anyway, but I don't think a lot of this will need to be dealt with, because it's just not going to be visible. The power unit assembly should now look like this. Damn, mine's, mine needs to be bigger, look. Right, there we go. Now it's correct. That's not right. That's correct. Right. Put that to one side. Power unit assembly. So, that was very stressful. I, I may have bought Skyrim again for PC mm. VR while it was on sale. Oh dear, how many copies have we got now? Don't forget, Chris, when the Xbox Series X comes out, there's bound to be another, another version of Skyrim.
Phil Lewis uh, double checked. I think some came out unlabeled. Awesome. I, I did wonder because I thought to myself, I don't remember seeing labels before. But no, you were still all right to point it out. You know, it was good that you did. I hate the idea of this pinging back and throwing bits everywhere. Oh, God. These silver ones, I'm going to keep them in them little gaps because I need to know which are which on there. So I'm going to assume that I need to keep them separated. These bits here. Take out. Tiny pieces. A bit of do do. There's this bit on the bottom, which is stuck on with tape apparently. A bit rum. Nothing left in there. Oh, good. Bye. Nothing left on here, apart from this bit of sticky tape, which is actually quite inconvenient because it's all over the component. Can't actually get it off. I don't want to break the component. Well done. Please attach sticky labels to all the delicate parts that I can't pull on. That'd be brilliant. Thanks. Yeah. Xbox Series X will also upgrade the game if it's available. Oh, absolutely. Although I don't know if they will. I mean, the Series X will, you know, add graphical flair to it. It'll, it'll upscan it to 8K if you're, if you're one of the five people in the world that will have an 8K TV. Um... There we go. Better. But, you know, it'll add, it'll add uh, upscaling and stuff to it. I mean, I'm actually quite looking forward to just playing, like, Skyrim and Fallout 4 on Series X. Not because, even if there's not a new version released, which there, there will be, come on, it's Bethesda, they're going to release, like, a new version. But even if they didn't, I'd still look forward to it because uh, it would play differently. It'd be like, you wouldn't have loading screens anymore, hopefully. It would just be so fast and souped up that everything would be instantaneous and it might even get rid of things like the crappy issues you get after having so many hours played and suddenly quick save takes forever there we go god don't put sticky labels on tiny fiddly components it's really annoying <clears throat> hopefully so i'm just looking forward to playing it just on a, a more powerful console that suddenly means i don't get you know, because I had to, I had a playthrough of like about four and a half, uh, four hundred, four hundred and sixty-eight hours. It was one playthrough, but I built so many settlements, and I was had so much stuff that every time I pre quiz say quick save, it was like forty-five seconds or a minute, and it was like, oh. and I just had to abandon it. I couldn't play it anymore. I had to just abandon it completely. It was quite sad, so I started a new game. But yes, Dad, uh, when you're playing the Fallout Fours, I will send you a list of the uh, mods that you'll need. But trust me on this. M1 Garand. Uh, Car 98. They're your two go to rifles. Uh, and with some various settings. I'll give you all the right settings. But you want to get the cheat console so you can drop your walk speed down to 25%. Because that's brilliant. Because it's almost like normal walking speed. Right. Take these parts. Boop. 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 Align the D-shaped lug on one of these smaller parts. D-shaped lug made to make your mouth water. With the matching hole in one of the larger details. Which is beyond my visual capabilities. It's got a massive great nub on the end, but I don't care. There we go. Done. Repeat the process with the other two parts. Now I could be wrong, probably am, but this little this little part here, from a certain angle, does pass a ever so slight resemblance to what is known as the universal greeble or universal greebly, which is a little kit bash part that was God, there's a big nub on that, a little kit bash part that was so ubiquitous on early on uh, industrial light magic kits. In the 70s and 80s that they made copies of millions of copies of it and used it everywhere and it was actually a, a it was a piece of the leopold railgun i think uh, but it was it was used everywhere it just looked like brilliant to greeble basically right so now we have this piece here 
which needs that side. The detail is you press the square pin off the back of the hole on the right side of the bulkhead. Okay, so now these have little holes on the sides. You need to make sure you get the right one. So this one has holes on the left hand side. This one has holes on the left on the right hand side. Okay. What the one with the holes on the left hand side? Ah, the Dutchie. No, not saying that's copyright. You'll get it done. I play games to escape reality. Twenty-five percent walking speed sounds like torture. No, that's the thing. It's Paul says the same. That's the thing. It's weird. If you just play like the normal game, you're running around like fucking Superman, running around at a billion miles an hour. I nearly did a swear then. Um, and it's like you, you you tend to do a lot of fast travel and stuff, and it's you just run around. And the thing with Fallout Four is because the quests are kind of hollow, and the the best way to play the game is just to free yourself to explore. It's a good game, but you know. You'd go, go here, go. Most of them are just simple fetch quests and say, so look, at duh, 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 duh. Yes. But if you, if you drop your speed down to 25, which is a more realistic walking speed, it's weird, but it just makes it a lot more. Um, I can explain it. It draws you into the world a lot more. So I'm walking along now and I'm looking at the plants and the trees and looking at the light coming through the trees and I'm listening to the audio for the environment. And it, I just find it a billion times more relaxing because I'm drawn into the world more and it makes firefights more interesting because of course I can't just like run around like a like a nuclear powered hamster I'm just running around shooting I can I can only move at walking speed so I'm having to use cover more and pick my shots more carefully and be more careful and try and pick off enemies at greater distance and of course using the car 98 which is a bolt action rifle it takes longer to fire you tiny little iron sights turn the reticle off so I just find it it makes the game everything takes longer and it's just a billion times more fun to me because everything is it's not like I don't know it's hard to explain really it just makes it more interesting to me this is the right way around I think uh nope that's the right way around this is confusing it says here I like the D-shaped hole in the bulkhead with the matching lug on the end of the power input. So it shows it like this. He's holding it like this. He's got that there. And he's got this. Uh, like that. And then it says, put them together. And it shows it like that. It's like, oh, how many people have gone like that and just gone and, and put it on the wrong way? I bet more than, more than just me. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so to me, it just makes it, it makes it more absorbing because I like to pootle around the world. Uh, if you want to play a game that requires a lot of thought and careful use of cover, then we're happy to let you play the division. No, because that's just nonsense. I like to, <clears throat> I like to wander around a world and drink it in, listen to the audio and look at the, you know, look at the lighting and, like when I play, I tend to set the weather to like dark skies. Or rainstorms, just because it it brings the world alive to me. I don't necessarily want. I'm not looking for like you know better gunplay and stuff. Don't really care about hacking and all that kind of division type stuff. That that's. I want to just slowly wander around. That's the thing that, that makes me love it so much. Right now, we have here. This is where this comes in. We need to get these out in order. So. We have a dip a dip a dip do 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 do. This is that is a b b. Here it gets tricky because some of these are just like non specific generic looking things. That's going to be I think. really make this quite difficult that's going to be e i think that's going to be f b to be f b d 
think. See? Open these right around. And then these two are going to be G and also I think they're in order. I think they're in order. Sounds like the Xbox equivalent of fell walking to me. Nah, trust me. It, especially with weapons that you can't, like, it, especially with weapons that you have to aim carefully. To me, it, I mean, it might not be for everybody, but to me, it just makes it much more fun. Because I like to, I like to feel like I'm actually in the world. And for some reason, whether it's the way my brain works, I can quite easily be dragged into a world just by the right lighting and colours and sounds. So I can quite easily get absorbed in. I'm not there just to run around like, you know, as, I mean, default walking speed, you're, you're walking around at 25 miles an hour, which is ridiculous. Plus it means if I want to walk everywhere, I don't have to half pull, push the stick. It's hard to explain. I can't, if, you, if it's not the kind of thing you'd be into, then you, you're not going to be convinced otherwise. Right, there. Right, fit the pipes. A, B, F, and G using this guide to which holes they are. I'm going to keep this. If you've got this, don't throw this away. I'm sure you're going to need it again. A, B, F, and G. So A is... Uh, A is that one. So A. To go... Yeah. There. Goes into the bottom hole. Bottom hole. <laughs> mm. The problem was with the the first one of these. Some of these, they just didn't make sense. They weren't the right. I think it had you put the wrong ones in the wrong place, basically, which caused all kinds of problems. Because suddenly, you had tubes and pipes that weren't going in the right place. There's a big nub on that pipe there, and it's too late for me to do anything about it. No, it's not. Can I get rid of that nub without damaging the pipe? I mean, that is a big nub. Great big nub. It's going to get painted over, but if I can just get it rid of it a bit, I don't want to snap it, but... Yeah, so I think the, the issue 16... They, um... I just done that nicely. I think they just labelled them incorrectly. So the pipes didn't meet up with this grey bulkhead and it was like and you th i thought i'd done something wrong so in the end i just had to snap pipes off and i had pipes just floating in midair because i knew they wouldn't be seen anyway but i had to have just pipes hanging out in midair b is that one so hopefully this way they'll actually fit in correctly correctly in place now b goes in that hole there if i can get to go in. not glue these in place yet I do recommend you put the pipe into the bulkhead first, though, and then the thing here. All right. Or maybe not. If it doesn't want to go in, it doesn't want to go in. B is that one. In the hole. Again, it's this. There we go. That's in. Okay, so I'm going to have to wiggle this around a little bit. <clears throat> so there's those two pipes. I'm not going to glue them yet because I need to move that bulkhead around. I don't want to knacker things up. Uh, B, C, D, E, F, that one, F, I do apologize if all you've seen at the top of my head, by the way, I'm glad I checked the first ring, the wires have come out of the grip, so I've just fixed them in place using UV activated resin, and they are now safely labeled with Tamiya tape, uh, box on big telly! I made the mistake of doing a fox and becoming overburdened in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I, I played that for a while, it didn't, it didn't grab me. Uh, right, this is now, I want F to go into that one. Again, we've got the problem of trying to push a thing into a compound curve. There, into one of these little things that looks like a, looks like a lamp on the, some kind of steam train thing. 
these are the ones that didn't fit the ones that go into these little sort of doohickeys here these are the ones that when i built the first one it didn't make any sense and they didn't fit and then g g is but this is why i'm glad now that but it turns out it wasn't me just being a spoon even though i am a spoon it wasn't actually me just messing it up it was the fact that they had them in the wrong place so i'm like this, the pictures in the magazine just did not match at all And given the fact this is also a very fiddly operation, it's not helped by that. Uh... I may have spoken too soon. Still not quite matching. What? That's not making any sense. What is it? You're in the darn hole. Right, you get in that hole there. Get in the hole. That's in. And that should, along with the other one. Yes, that should go in there. That one should go in the top bit there want to but it will gosh darn it it will please oh. okay fiddly times stay in they are going to have to be glued into place because they're so loose with those little side bits there Hey. Fox on the big telly says Mayhem and then says same Fox it's not what I expected Hello Hello big telly Hello This is not a 3D telly because that would get really weird right now Way <sighs> C, D, E, and H on the opposite side of the bout input unit on the right. So E in that one. E. You see what I did there? E. E. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, e. Uh, <laughs> Going there, I think. That whole yeah, I like that you see now. It's going to be fiddly. It's going to give me trouble. Gentle, make you jittery. Right in, all right. That's all right. He needs to go into that. I need to get all these pipes in, and then I can start gluing things into place. Then, because he's going to keep coming out otherwise. Uh, I need to get. H, which is this is the bit I was kind of dreading where I was debating whether to just get this done beforehand because I knew this would not be anything exciting to watch at all for you guys I knew it would take me a chunk of time and be fiddly as hell oh, well, I'm just going to get them loosely put in for now C and D so C is that one Really? That doesn't seem in any way correct. They have them the wrong way around. Yes, I think I have them the wrong way around. Yeah. Also, great big nub. Noticed. What I might do is get these glued in first and then clean up these great big knobs. Although, again, having said that, I'm not even sure you're going to even see these. It may not even be warranted. I can't remember. Uh, right, so that went in there like that.
not the most enjoyable part of this project. Yeah, yeah, this is going together properly now because these pipes just did not fit. They weren't the right length, they weren't the right width, they didn't make any sense. <clears throat> they didn't match what was in the in the magazine. So I mean it's pretty bad that they missed it. They missed it in the first place. They got it wrong in the thing. But then again, I suppose you know, like I say, I said before, when you do part work, you've got hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of steps to go through and document. It's not unreasonable that it might make a few little goofs here and there. But it's not, you know, there might be like seven different people between taking the photographs of the building process, coming up with the steps of the building process, write the theme tune, sing the theme tune. Right, so I'm going to get that glued in. I'm going to glue in the base ends uh, here first. So these don't come out again. Again, I'm not fussed about the paint job. I'll get repainted anyway, so I don't really care about paint stripping by the glue. I just care about it gluing things together glue. That's all I care about right now. Go in there, that can go in there. Or maybe it can't, I don't know. I'd like it to. It'd be really nice if it did. All I want you to do is go into that little hole. Stay there. That would be lovely, thank you. Uh, then just clean the pipes up, folks. You will never see them again. Yeah, there is that. I remember how much of them actually visible. I'll get the other wing out in a minute and show you how little of them is actually visible. <clears throat> Most of them is actually not visible, and that pipe's come out again anyway. Oh. Dang it. I can hear them pinging out like little gits. Yes, yeah, they are going to get repainted, so I'm not really too. As long as they stay roughly in place. <clears throat> right, let me get the other wing and I'll show you what, what you can actually see. Uh, what you can actually see. That out of the way. Oh, is. That. That's all you see. <clears throat> you see a little bit of the pipes, but that's all you actually see. That little bit there. So all that is in there. And you can see in there, nothing. And when this gets painted, it's going to be covered in like, I'm going to obviously be painting the, 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 the fuselage colors, and then it'll get covered with a layer of dust and dirt anyway. So all that gold and silver stuff in there is just going to be gone. And of all this, you're not going to see any of that. You're going to see a little tiny bit of that. So, hey, it doesn't matter. It's still, it's still good to build it. No harm in building it. And when I, you know, when I built it the first time, I didn't know that was going to be the case, but it's fine. But that's the thing. I mean, it gives you the option if you wanted to. I've said it before. There's nothing to say you couldn't if you wanted to do a cutaway model you could have a cutaway model with the interior of the engine exposed <sighs> i'll keep that i'm going to throw that away that's that's valuable information uh right what's next pipes 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 uh, this one needs to go in here is it into this little bit here What I might do is leave that for a minute just to. Oh, so it's going in okay. Let me just get down and dirty with it. There's also a flash on this bulkhead, but I'm not. You're not going to see that. 
See, now I'm sure there are those out there, hardcore modelers uh, with skill and talent, who would make sure that every single component was made to look fantastic and mold line free and looked gorgeous and everything was fabulous. And that's absolutely fine. All power to them. That's brilliant. However, I'm not that person because I am I am naturally lazy. And if I don't need to do something, I'm not gonna right, so we get coffee. We'll have a quick look at the chat. And we'll get the next little bit done because we're not finished yet. Uh, I found it too hard to tell the difference between C, D, E, and F. Yeah, I got C and D the wrong way around. The difficulty is that on these photographs here, it shows the pipe from above. So you see a pipe that's like that shape. It's like, but you don't know if it's it curves like that. Does it mean it kind of goes along and then over, or does it mean it goes along and then under? You can't see the three dimensionality of it. It is a bit confusing, but that is definitely much better than this, which made no sense at all. C, D. Because if you look at it here, this says use components A, B, C, and D. Where you actually use components A, B, F, and G. Now, bizarrely, when I build it, it comes out looking like that and not like that because that doesn't look anything like it, but they are the right parts. So, yeah, it's it's gone a bit wrong there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. But that makes sense now because that's actually symmetrical on my other version. It was all over the place because the pipes were all in the wrong place. It was kind of weird. Ah. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. New in chat. Model maker man says, Oh, you've just had a sneezing fit. Who the hell is talking about me? When it's built, you're still, you'll know that. Oh, I'll say that again. In Thompson says, But when it's built, you know they're still there mocking you. Yes. Yeah, so all we're going to see out of that is that bit there and that bit there. So, hey, it's all good fun. Right. I thought there'd be a lot more chat to catch up with, but there it isn't. Yeah, so Dad, you can play however you want, but I will send you all the mods that I've got and you can use them as you wish. Uh, I actually quite like, I've got a mod called the Cheat Terminal, which you could use to just cheat your way through the game, but I use it very sparingly. I use it literally to um, change the weather and... Oh. Oh, I used it to give myself some extra stats at first, just so I could get the Grand M1 rifle. There's a, it's a really great rifle mod, the Grand M1. But it doesn't kick into your level 17. It's like, no, I want it now. I'm playing this game for fun. Why can't you make this weapon available when I start the game, not when I'm level 17? Fascists. Yeah. Right. Uh, fitting the engine. Fit the rear section of the fusel thrust engine. Do, 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 do. So we have the winged chair. I'm going to put this over to one side in the safe place. There's going to be screws required, so I'll, I'll put that there. I'll put that back in the box. What a bit about. There's the there's the engine. <coughs> so, <coughs> oh. take the fusel thrust engine from stage 27, together with an O2 screw. We have O2 screws. To screw made to make your life stinky. Uh, and it says, take the plug on the end of the lead for the engine's lighting and fit through this hole in the engine mount. The engine mount's there. Is this all on camera for you? I'm going to move my iPad back so I can get more things on camera. Uh, this one, which is number four. It is number four. Fit it through the hole in engine mount. The lead for the engine's lighting effect, or just lighting as we like to call it. <clears throat> Where things start to get weighty now. Feed the lead, three the lead through the hole. Yada yada yada. Gentlemen, feed your leads. In. 
press it in and hold it. Oh god, there's pressing and holding. I never like that kind of combination. It never works for me well, that. So that goes in there like that, you'll see. Turn the assembly over. Drive an XWO2 screw into this hole to fasten the engine in place. Drive the screw in. Don't be gentle, don't ask, just do it. Oh look, the label went through easily. A man who paints from the pot can criticise nothing. <laughs> right, this screw goes into the engine just to hold it in place. Read the wire from the engine around this pin, you see? Ugh, more of this nonsense. Around this pin, there's already got a wire around it, so it's got nowhere to go. Look it into the... So it's basically going in the same place as the other one. Where's my spudger? Spudger! Spudge! Time to spudge! Now, I don't really care if these wires come off... Uh... uh where that one? It needs to go behind this pin that's already got loads of other wires behind it. I don't really care if these wires come off once the wing is assembled. Because they can't go anywhere, and they're not going to suddenly get into any of the mechanical parts. Um, it doesn't really matter, as long as they're just in when I get all the bits of the wing together. That's all I really care about. I think they could have maybe designed some better little clips for the wires to hold in place with. That might have been a bit better. Like These little pegs, they're fine, but they're not brilliant. I know in my other wing, the, the, I think the pegs maybe have been smaller because the... the the wires didn't stay in place as much, and I think they probably all pinged out anyway. Right, that was easy. Uh, take it through the other gap in the three pins, which is there. Spudger, spudger, spudger! Oh, look, the label went through easy, better than painting from the mat. Paul says, shut your face, and Chris says, love you, Paul. Painting through the mat. Wow. I have to make friends and influence people. Ah, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get back at you by pissing off somebody else completely. Excellent. This is correct. All working together now. Right, that needs to get in that little gap there. In, in, there. Which of course means it comes out from over there. Oh. Must I work like a dog? You get behind there. Boom. In you go. There you go. Really scares me doing these wires like this. There's nothing else you can do. You've got to push them in with something. Pull them around. Oh wow, for some reason I said pull them around and then the word Alamorain just came into my head and now I'm remembering that really crappy Is it Deep Space Nine episode of Voyager? Where they get stuck in some game Alamorain it was called. The, the game. Yeah, I've forgotten about that. Garbage episode that was. Might be DS9, I'm not sure. Uh, take the power input unit you completed on page 13, align it like this. Where's me where's me? Where did I put the silver horrendous nightmare fuel device? This now goes ha. Huh? A deadly bomb, a deadly bomb, super match game. Into the hole. Pew. I never want to have to take this part over again. Is that right? Does that go into there. But everything now pings out everywhere because of course it does. Of course it does. I get that into that hole without knowing where the hole is because I can't see it. Well, in you go. In you go. Where's the, where's the peg and the hole? I can't see the hole because it's underneath. Oh, the sound of things breaking probably is going to be what I hear next. Uh, this is in no way stressful. 
in no way stressful, apart from all the stress. Okay, this hole has to have that peg in it, but I can't line up that hole with that peg because of the reasons. Also because I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, it's... Come on now. Come on now, lads. Sort your shizzle out. Duh. This is in no way stressful. No way this could have been done a different way to make everything line up a lot easier. I can't get everything in at the same time. That goes in there perfectly until you need to add all this stuff to it. Come on now, ladies. In you go. In you go, ladies. Come on. God, if I hadn't glued any of those pipes and stuff, they'd all be falling off right now. They probably all are anyway. Aha, there we go. Yes. Huge success. I knew it would work. I knew it'd be fine. Kill this up with XW01 screw. I'm kind of glad that I started this at one o'clock and not like three o'clock because we'd be finishing now. I've got tons left to do. Although this is the complicated fiddly bit, so everything here I think from now on is plain sailing. Insofar as you get plain sailing with anything I do. Screw it, screw it, screw it. Oh, screw it. There you go. That's never going to come out again and it will never be seen again because that's all you're ever going to see now. <laughs> Although having said that, this is the lower wing, so I don't know what you're going to see. Oh, nothing. You do see a little bit more of the insides there. There's a little bit more stuff in. You can't see it. A little bit more stuff in there. You can see if you if it was upside down. Uh, it's fine. Cool. That's that done. This completes this stage. Thank God for that. That was most stressful. We've only got one, two, three, four, five, six to go. Oh, we've done three so far. Hello. And Fox will cover it with washing up liquid. Wait, what? My revenge will arrive in a week. What? Hello. And then Fox will cover it. Wait. Move along home. That was it. It was DS9. The irony, this hobby is meant to be relaxing. Yes. My revenge will arrive in about a week. What revenge? What have I done now? Oh, I see. At least we don't paint. At least we actually paint things and don't just sand an arm for three hours. Some of us like to do things slowly and carefully. Go for maximum quality. Issue 30. This, this, uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, look, cockpit. And yeah, there you go. Loveliness. Right. Let's crack on. It's four o'clock. I've got too much to do. What I need to do first is go for a great big wee, actually, though, because somebody said tepid and damp. Right, give me two seconds. I need to go for a great big wee. Hopefully this will work.
Yeah, I'm back. Hello. <sighs> you say Moist is off to the lab. Coincidence? He isn't going to finish before you're on Sunday. True. What? I don't know. Who's finished what? I've not finished anything. Right, next. Issue number... Cashier number four, please. Uh, 30. Right, there we go. Only a few bits on this. This won't take long. Right. Issue number 30. Yeah. Use the right side of the knife, dear. Not the not sharp side. Yeah. Halfway. It's only been three hours. Uh, we've got two hours to go yet. So, more than half. Started at one. Been three hours. Right. Nothing in the bag. So we have some parts. We were. More screws. Number two screws. Put that in a safe place. Uh, number two screws. Is it? I hope you guys are enjoying this. I, I don't know how interesting or boring this kind of stream actually is. If you if you're enjoying it, and I'll I'll do this more often because I'd really rather do live streams of this than film it. Because the thing is, it's filming these things. It's like you know. Sometimes it's only five or ten minutes of content, but I have to talk about the magazines and stuff. And I'm really just doing what's in the magazine, so I like to think this is more interesting for you. Do let me know. Stream fight. Who's fighting what now? Right, so. Uh, all the parts probably. You start by detailing the recess around the sublight engine before fitting the upper skin that covers the wing. Uh, start with these two plant. I love the way they call them plant on details. Or as we call them. Where's the other bit? Uh, uh, instantly not got a piece. Right. I'm instantly uh, missing a component. Straight away. That's uh, garbage. Oh, oh, there it is. Yay! Whew, panic over. Right, Whew, that was a bit nerve wracking. Right, so first two, we get the. Yeah, I love the way they call them plant on detail. What we call greebles or greeblies. They call plant on detail. I don't know where they've come up with that term from. I've never heard that used ever anywhere. Hey, Fox, when did you get 24,000 subscribers? Says Ian Thompson. Uh, I think I just hit 24,000 uh, in the last week and a bit. I didn't even realize it was dad that told me. He said, dude, you've got 20. I'm like, oh. it's taken a while. I got to 23,000 after about three years, but then it just kind of stopped and really, really slowly built up in 23. Getting from, getting from like one to 22 took a few years. But then getting from 22 to 23 and now 24, that's where the real slow crawl starts. Thank you very much, Ian. This is good on you. Fox is on the way to twenty to 50,000. I want to be on the way to like hundreds of thousands so I can earn a nice, decent income from this. Uh, ba -da -da -da, fit the product together permanently. Uh, firmly. Press the assembly firmly into the matching recess on this piece here, which is there, like there, to say. This is just pointless busy work, which is fine. It's just all nice little bits of detail and stuff. This piece goes on here. After I first remove this nub on the bottom, which will stop it going in properly. Hello. And then I throw my file. That'd be good. It's great when you're in the bath listening to stuff. Wait, you listen. Ew. I don't want to be in your bathroom when you're in the bath. Ew. I need my hammer to see him because I can't see. Yes, I think I got subs up quite quickly, but it did start to slow. I think to get to 50,000, if I carry on at my current rate, will take me approximately another 10 years. <laughs> Ain't getting anywhere fast. Right, where's my player? Where's me? God, hands? they've got nice squishy hands. You want to go in that piece? Do well. 
Now it is just a greeble. It doesn't matter if it's sticking out a bit or it's not quite in, in a bit of a pain. It's getting glued in place anyway. Which is what I'm about to do. Tell PewDiePie you're coming for him. <laughs> Congrats, Fox. Yeah. I mean, ideally, in an ideal world, I'd get enough subscribers that the income I made from YouTube was enough to live off. Because if I was getting enough off YouTube to live off, then I wouldn't need things like Patreon and stuff like that. And I could be quite secure in my future. So, of course, if you wish to help support the channel, you can do through patreon.com forward slash model making guru, your one stop shop for helping me pay the bills. Uh, you're more than welcome. But uh, yeah, yeah, so here's hoping. I don't think I'll ever get the uh, the gold button, but it would be nice to one day have the YouTube silver button, which is I think 100,000 subscribers. That'd be nice. That'd be fun. <laughs> I'd be so proud. I'd be like, well, right. So we built that. We now need to attach this to a thing. It fits into the rear of the engine mount like this. Yeah, because to me it's not, I don't really, you know, I'm not really fussed about the numbers and stuff. Big numbers are always nice, but I think the most important thing for me is not how big numbers are, but where that's going. It needs to go. Uh, but it's more just, you know, the bigger the number, the more actually, the more income I can make. And it would be brilliant, like I say, if I could just live off my YouTube earnings, that'd be fantastic. Go off camera a bit while I push this into place. I don't think I'll need to glue that in because I think it gets locked into place later on with the screws. I might want to take, I'm only really at this point gluing greebles and things in that I know I'm never gonna have to remove. That's why I'm not too fussed about that being glued in. Uh, take the engine cover. <laughs> And it's four mounting holes up with the matching holes and the power unit. Power unit. Yeah, so I don't really, you know, I'm not going to say I've got this many subscribers. Ooh, I, I'm not, not the right, is that even the right piece of plastic? No, that's not what I want. Um, that's not really the way I operate. The way I operate is more like X amount of subscribers means I might make enough on a month to not have to, you know, to be able to pay the bills and stuff all the time. Which would be lovely, thank you very much. There we go. Yeah, so you can see once this piece is on, that is permanently attached. Uh, Ivan Martinez uh, pops through uh, two and a half thousand CRCs again. Thank you very much. That's very, very kind of you. Remind me, were they Cuban? I can't remember where they're from now. Cuban, I think. Thank you very much. It's very, very kind of you. And he does a little, a little uh, chibi, chibi inu there, which says. Number one. Thank you very much, Ivan. Is it Ivan or Ivan? Because it can go either way. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Yes, once this piece is on, it's a bit loose there. But it doesn't really matter. Again, you're not going to sit there going like, oh, it's a bit loose, that, isn't it? I'm not going to see that. Um, but once this is on, it's not really going to come off. So when this bit gets painted here, if... See, I don't even know if the original filming miniature had this bit metallic. But when I paint this, I'm going to do it like I'm going to do with the Falcon. I'm going to make it a hybrid between the filming miniature and what one would look like if it was a real vehicle. So it'll be a bit of both. I might repaint those metallic colours, but that'll be a brush painting job, I think. Everything will get painted the base colour and then I'll pick out details. Or I might leave it the basic. Uh, Fox, I didn't fit the covers on the screws for the blanking plates. I'll be leaving them for when I no longer need to get into that area, says Phil Lewis. Uh, I think I already put them on, but they're not too hard to get out. Good Lord, it's amazing how much light is given off when you replace the half-dead batteries in the helmet of seeing. Yes. Do -do. Uh, yeah, I think I put the, I think I put, the, well, I think what I realized was, uh, once the wing is assembled, what I realized was there's actually, actually no reason at all for me to disassemble the wing. Because, let me get that wing back out again. I'm kind of getting bored of taking it in and out now, but once the wing is assembled, I don't need to take that apart because it's all going to be generically the same color 
apart from the coloured patches which can mask off. I don't need access in there because that's very easily sprayed with an airbrush. It's all going to be a, a, a grey colour and then give an engine grime and stuff anyway. So I don't need to mask off anything that I don't need access to the bits in there because they're going to get covered in the base colour. The only thing I will need to take apart is this bit, but I can pop that off the end because I need to get that clear piece out. So that can slide off the end. I don't need to actually take any of that apart. So these little covers here, not that I don't trust them not to fall out, but I don't think I'll need to ever take that apart ever. So I'm quite confident that I can paint that wing as a single unit. Because I can access that bit, no problem. Because at first I'm thinking, God, taking this whole part has been an absolute nightmare. But I can get to these little gaps here to fill them. Uh, I can access everything I need to. Give me a big paint job. I can manually repaint any silver details. Yeah, I don't need, I don't think I'll need to take the pumice apart again, ever. So. So I do need to be careful and catching the little um, wires, little stick out bits on the lasers. Uh, where are we? So we did that bit. That never needs to come off ever again. See, I suppose all this stuff under here, it's no different if you're making a, a part work of a vehicle, like you're making the Ecto-1 or, a, uh, you know, you're making uh, the Jaguar that they do and things like that. There's a Volkswagen Beetle. And in that, you'll make the engine and the undercarriage and stuff. But I suppose the difference is in those, you can open the bonnet and see the engine. Whereas this, you can't. But I suppose you could if you wanted to make it away. Uh, next, it says, take the upper skin and line it up with the wing root like this. <laughs> Wing root. It might be a bit big for your spray booth, says Ian. Yes, I will be doing the old put a sheet around my desk and spray it on the desk. When I get something that's too big, and you'll see it with the Falcon, I just spray it here, but I put a big uh, sheet up over my desk so all the spray paint either goes onto the sheet or gets sucked into the spray booth over there. So I don't spray my desk. That would be arse if I sprayed my desk. This needs to go into here like that. You see? Taking care not to trap the wires. Which are evil. Press it firmly into place. You want XWO2 screws? I could just say O2 screws, couldn't I? I don't actually, I mean, I'll be honest, when this thing is actually put together, this thing is going to be, in the same way the Falcon was, it's actually too big for my bench. I'm not tightening these screws all the way, by the way, like I said before, do them evenly. Uh, so when this thing starts to get big and I start to like attach wings and stuff like that. Um, that's when it's going to get challenging because. I'm going to have to do things like every time I want to do stuff on the desk, I'm going to have to move all my hobby zone things out of the way. All my hobby zone units are here, but if I move them all off the desk, I'll have enough space to work. But it's going to mean doing that every single time. And also. I, I'm. I'm worrying about how the fuselage and wings will go together because in an ideal world what i'd do is i'd get the thing into sub assembly so that i could have the wing each individual wing built and the fuselage built up in such a way that i can paint it all and then attach lower hull upper hull wings done but i don't think it's going to work that way i think i'm going to have to build the wings into the fuselage and have it all built and say right it's done and then take it all apart again that's what i want to avoid because that's going to be a nightmare. But I don't want to paint the wings when the wings are finished and then come back a year later and have to paint the fuselage to make it match because I might not be able to get it to match. Right, in an ideal world, I have, I have four wings and the fuselage in sub-assemblies that I can all get painted up and then put together, but I don't know how it's going to work yet. Spray booth in the garden? Uh, no, no, it's, I mean, my spray booth is here. It's just there off screen. Uh, and as long as I put a sheet up... It, over my desk and over all my my um hobby zone units and stuff it, the sheet can go up like you know two or three foot up in the air and i can uh, attach it to stuff the sheet will be here like a drop sheet covering the whole desk uh, and any paint that comes out the airbrush will either go onto the sheet or it'll go sucked in by the spray booth it says it won't fit in my spray booth but my spray booth can still do its sucky sucky thing although in the past before i had a decent spray booth when I was doing a U-boat and I had to use rattle cans, what I did was I bought a cheap garden tent, a cheap kid's tent, and I used that in the garden. Tent up in the garden, 
respirator on. It's rain. <laughs> it's great. But I stank like paint for like a week. So there is that option as well. Not that much use in the winter though. Uh, take the three little nobulations. These little bits here, the little doofa doofas. And we shall uh, put these over the little holes. So I shall get the little nipple ons. Most of the build after the wings is the wings engine segment, then the cockpit and forward nose segment till later on when you will attach them. I just like to hope. I'm just hoping that. Well, I, I'm kind of hoping that I can have. I can not attach the wings to the fuselage and yet still get everything finished. So that by the end of it, like I say, I'll have four wings and the fuselage in, in sub assemblies. Get it all painted because I don't want to have to build it and then take it all apart again. I can avoid it. Now, crunch push comes to shove. That bit of plastic's just gone in somewhere and it's not going to come out. There it is. Um, push comes to shove. Absolute worst case scenario, I could paint this with the wings on. I'd done that on X-Wings before, but it's not ideal. And that's on little X-Wings where you can hide a lot of stuff. It's not ideal on this, really. He's in. He's never fitted very well, but it'll do. You know what, the handles on a god hat, pair of god hand nippers are really good for pushing things in without breaking them. Because they're squishy rubber. There we go. So ideally, like I say, I'd have four wings. And maybe the fuselage. And it might be that like, you get the fuselage. Ideally, you'd have the entire cockpit and nose cone built. And then like the lower hull with all the mechanics stuff in here. And then the top bit that goes over the top where the, the, the droid trench is that goes over the top so you can put the wings in. I mean, that'd be great, but I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. Uh, right, that completes the wing assembly for now with the rest of the upper skin and laser cannon to be fitted. That was issue 30. Moving on. Yeah. Steaming through now. Steaming. Issue 31. Beep, 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 beep. This should be fast, but probably frustrating. So quick look stuff with the things and the oh don't talk about that no 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 there's just more blank pages they haven't put any content in there at all there's just nothing there's no pictures or, or words at all it's nonsense doodle, 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 doodle. somebody said the other day i can't remember who it was now it might have been chris at gross models i can't remember who it was if i got it wrong i do apologize they hadn't realized that the markings denote the ship number so red five has five stripes red two has two stripes he said, he, he said, I've never realised that before. It's like, yeah, yeah good, isn't it? Paul at Team Inep says, Nubian, eh? I happen to have a chance of Cuba. You're making me do quotes from that god-awful heretic, heretical film. Yeah, Chris says, yes, me. Yes, it was Chris. Yes, he hadn't realised that the markings were actually on the wing. Uh, these are XW02s. Like Pavlov's dog, isn't it? Yes. If you give me a quote, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do a Jar Jar quote, though, Chris, because I wouldn't go that far. I'm not that stupid. Screws away. Dit goes over there. We are on half four. We're making good time. Good time. That cut through not much. Yes, tonight for dinner we are having the McDonald's. How is the audio, by the way? I realise I'm talking really loud. I don't want to be talking too loud. Um, we're having the McDonald's for tea tonight, and I've made a decision that I'm going to read the instructions actually before I start putting things in. Uh, we need the laser cannon. Uh, need, uh, uh, laser cannon is uh, where did I put the? No idea where I put the laser cannon. I put it in a place, and the place I put it was uh, somewhere. Place there, one that's a spare one. Where did I? Ha 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 ha! We have a laser cannon devicings. That is there. Yep. Uh, we need the tubes, the shooty tube, which is there. Oh, oh, I hate when the oh, I hate when the fiber optic comes out. 
because to get it back in the it sticks halfway through and you have to kind of wiggle it around a lot and fight with it and oh it worked yay no and then it gets stuck at that end hang on yeah when you put the cable back in it sometimes gets stuck at this bit and you have to wiggle it around to really convince it to do what it needs to do lock s files in attack position switch all power to front deflector screen switch all power to front deflector screen right thanks for the fun guys i've got to go but we'll join again in the near future thanks for coming in chris you're more than welcome i'll be doing lots of streams over the coming weeks and weeks and months i have many more of these to come in and we've got the falcon build as well on your models channel so stay tuned but thank you for coming in right where's another bit so we go start with the outer edging strip which is which is which one that one is that one okay start mit de outer edging strip in the garden there are three pins on the underside that fit into matching doobie doos which is the wait which way is this going now you didn't actually make it really clear on the photograph which end is which three pins that match guessing it's that way oh yeah there's a gap there for that bit there i have trouble getting these in the first time around in 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 yeah the first time i did this on a wing it was a real pain to get these in but these went in beautifully there you go we're passing through the magnetic field that's one thing that i love about the original star wars that whole battle for the, De the death star battle scene the dialogue between the pilots uh just the way and it's hard to explain but it's just the way they speak it sounds really weird but just the way they speak makes it sound real like when he says you know switch all power to your front deflector screen the weird little intonation he has just makes it sound more convincing and it's the same with the the battle on hoth same kind of principle it just sounds sounds i don't know it's really weird it's like when they're in the hoth battle and they do things like you can see them they're in a pretend canopy, but the actor is looking up as if he's looking at dials and readouts in his canopy, which just makes it more convincing. It's just really nicely done. It doesn't sound like actors acting. It sounds like people in spaceships doing things. Right, so that went in nicely. A lot less hassle than the first wing I did. Lovely. Uh, this should now look like this. Yes, it does. Yeah, yes. Now, take the laser cannon and fit the plug on the end of its wire through this hole near the wing tip. Oh dear lord. Right, so. Uh, oh, look, O3, it is labelled. Ah, O3. Which makes me wonder. I don't understand what I did in the middle. Never mind. Um, right. Hole near the end of the wing tip, which is. Which is oh hang on that's far too far that's far too up it needs to come back a bit then doesn't it okay that needs to pop out then so that goes there this goes there way that's not on straight it laser cannon's gone all wonky that needs to go there that sits here like that so that goes through the hole. You go through the hole there like that lad there you go come in you go don't give me no mess now just get through the hole there you go lovely no yes no yes yes no yes go go label will not fit through the hole what were you saying earlier on paul about the label going through the hole yeah good luck with that that can get pulled through hopefully without any major damage that label's not going through the hole. There it is now. They think it's all over. It is now. Goes on there. Press the pins firmly into the holes. I have, but it doesn't stick, but never mind. Uh, that's kind of correct. 
Hold the can in place where you turn the similar XWO2 screws. It's getting a bit complicated and fiddly now. XWO2, just the one, Mrs. Wembley. That would be nice. Oh, so, oh, so, oh, magnetic screwdrivers for the win. Almost. No, not quite. Almost magnetic screwdrivers for the win. Fascist. Right. Don't make me go off in a grump now. I'm doing this off camera, I know, I apologise. I'm just trying to get a grasp of what I'm actually looking at here so I can hold it correctly. Right, there we go. That goes there. I don't like all these scraping sounds, but never mind. That goes in thought, like that, you see. Up in these reek lads. Go on, get in thought. Yes. No. Hard to do this with one pair of hands. There we go. Yes. Huge success. That goes in there, loosely. Loosely, yes. Oh, it comes out again. Oh, the thing is all over. It is now. Loosely, loosely. Balance out the tension. This one goes there. That one goes there. No, this one goes there. That one goes there. And one more. I thought they smelled bad. Oh shit, where's that just gone now? On the outside. Please don't go inside the wing. That would not be up there. We go, thank you. Do you know? I know this is probably a little bit off camera. Oh, I can let go of it now. I'm holding it for dear life like I need to be, but I don't need to be doing it. Yes, I don't anticipate having to take these wings apart at all. Unless, of course, I get it all together and the lighting doesn't work, in which case, sadness. So that's label three. And we labeled that one potentially three. This is where we'll figure out if we've got the numbers right in the minute. Uh, so these two need to go together. We want to be together. Don't like these little sockets and plugs. They just scare me. That way around. There we go. There we go, that's it. Pops in together, that all the cables come out. That cable now sticks out over there somewhere because of course it does. I think I had to actually take these wires down. Take your wires down. That goes in there. Like that. I remember I had to, that's too far forward. Yeah. Hold on a moment, lads. I've got an idea. I don't want to get too handy with this, but I've got to get it back out again. And it's now decided not to come out. Come on, out you come. Don't be giving me no nonsense. Yeah. Right, that can go in there, that can go up there, a bit further up. I'll have to take that down, because that's not going to stick anywhere. Rather helplessly, it says in the thing, uh, Coil the, wing, the surplus wiring neatly into the wingtip. It'll stay there. A little bit of tape probably won't help. That label's getting in the way. I'd tear it off. Silence. Little bit of tapey tape. Not a lot, just a tiny amount. Just a very loose. It's not the best tape in the world to use for this, really. I should probably use some 3M blue tape, which would be even more hardcore. Would really hold it in place. But that's going to get covered up. It's just to, just to give it a little bit of... No grip whatsoever. Just while I put the cover on. Once the cover's on, I don't care. Uh, and then it says, this is the bit that didn't work for me well last time because it didn't quite fit very well. And I've got this wire coming out again. So let me just quickly bodge that down. If I can find my spudger. Spudger's there. No blasters, no blasters. 
Right, now this one looks like it'd be a bit more friendly than my previous wing. This now needs to go uh, thusly, which is... Thusly! And this literally just snaps into place, if I remember right. Now I did have a hell of a time getting this off on the other wing because I had to do something, something hadn't worked. What I might do before I put that on is just for the sake of my brain, uh that was three let's just let's just before i lock everything away into a little tiny box let's get wire number three cash in number three please do a quick test of late yes yes fantastic that is number three that is number three well done team well done huge success all around so now i can put this in place Probably won't go down. I remember the last time I did this, it didn't quite fit down perfectly, and I had a hell of a time getting it off again. And this is going to be exactly the same. It's not wanting to cooperate completely. Just off camera for a second. Apologies. Oh no, this one might be going on a bit better. Yeah, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. Like not, it's stick. It's not. It's buckling in the middle for some reason. I don't quite know why. But it's a pain to get off again. That's the problem. Right. You go there. You go there. And you never know if it's like the wires catching or there's something else that's not quite inlaid properly that's why i didn't want those two screws sticking out you see because i didn't want to cause any untoward nonsense it's not not having the best of days there is it really something there now it actually looks all right it's not actually sticking out you can't really see it bulging out anywhere but it's still a little bit annoying I think we can live with it. I suppose it has that look of a sheet of armor, a sheet of panel, a panel of, you know, armor. Just looking for at real aircraft. If you look at real aircraft, they have panels that bulge out and stuff, so. But I know when I tried to take this off last time, it did snap one a little bit, so this is where a spudging tool comes in handy. Yeah, spudge. I'm gonna make sure it's not a wire. It's just that one bit. Get yourself some um, sculpting tools, guys. They make great spudging tools. You should always be prepared for a good spudge. Well, it's not a wire getting in the way. There's nothing in there catching on it. Hole there, and there's a hole there, but there's something here. Fouling it somewhere. Maybe it's a screw that's not all the way in. Let's get that screw in a bit more. Screw's already pretty much in. It's just something there. It's not. There's not even an attachment point. And what it makes me is you get this little silver disc things that you put in there. It's gone. I mean, you can see them from the side, but pfft, it's gone. So this it was snapped a peg off there. You see. The last time snacked a peg off. Let's get rid of that. Uh, snip it. Hmm. Yeah, there's something. Something here. It's fouling it just a little bit. I'll try and push that wire in a bit more. There's nothing down there that it would get in the way of, but. It could be a slight warp in the plastic, perhaps. It could be a million other things. Hmm. Most bizarre and frustrating. But it'll be fine. I can live with it. We're not going to sit there squeezing it all the time, are we, so? I know it's there. You know it's there. But nobody else does. 
like I said before, this is just going to live on my cabin in my cabinet. It's going to be so big I can't ship it anywhere. So it's not perfect. I could try and glue it in somehow, but I don't know how I would. It's almost like there aren't enough attachment points. There's something there that's really frustrating. But I don't know what it is. I'm getting knocked off by the. I keep worrying I'm going to break them things. Yes. Oh well, it's not perfect, but it will have to do. I can't glue it in place because it's not the kind of thing you can just glue into place, sadly. So much pressure in there that it wouldn't it wouldn't glue. Glue wouldn't really hold it. Hmm. Ah wheel. That's just to go for the old it's an old air it's an old vehicle, therefore some of the panelling's a bit warped. Look at an old aircraft, there's bendy panelling all over those damn things. It'll do, it'll do. This completes the whole of the wing assembly. So it's nice to do that, and there's, there's, a, there's no image on the back there at all, it's just complete blankness. I don't understand that. Right, that's the whole wing assembly done. I'm not going to stick the big gun on the end because it involves, you, you get an idea of how big this thing's going to be now. Yeah, there's the hugeness. I'm not going to stick that on though because that's risky, risky times. I'm going to put this back in the storage box. I've got them in. Give me one second, folks. I've got to see if I can fit this in. Uh, now we've got cockpit stuff coming up in a minute, so I'll get those. Uh, I need more than one box for this. Obviously, running out of places to put these down now. I'll just put it down there for now. There we go. Right. I will also. Also, put some tape over the end here so the fiber optic cable doesn't fall out all the damn time. <laughs> yeah, because that's annoying. It's weird. I've got all the Warhammer Conquest stuff in one big box in storage, like while I'm not working on it. I can't do that with this. I'm going to have like several boxes sitting around with all this stuff in because there's so much bigness going on. Like that. so that's the other gun just taped up so my fiber optic doesn't come out. <sighs> Two more of them to do. Holy cow. Rebel Starfighters aren't exactly well maintained anyway. Look at the plucky Y Wing. Exactly. If you didn't know, the reason that Y Wings look different in, uh, start in the Clone Wars is because they've got all the armor on them. The funky Y Wings in Clone Wars are actually normal Y Wings just with all the body shell on. They take all the body shell off because it's. They're hard to maintain. Uh, hey, squish. Um, why is Paul saying? Why is Chris saying? Um, have you got it in the right hole? Screws? I don't think about that. Has anyone figured out where they're going to put their models when they're done? And Chris is like, yeah, no, I'm trying to think about that one. Yeah, especially you don't. I've got no idea where I'm going to put the models Falcon because it's got to sit around for a long time before I get around to going to e models again. Right, next. We've got uh, issue 32, Lego X-Wing. It's a silly Ponty one, no, not a proper X-Wing. Uh, what is that abomination? It's a drone. I wonder what that abomination was there. Uh, toys, Jessica Parva uh, from the film. Uh, again, it's the, it's the modern X-Wing, which is just nonsense. Wait, no, not more laser cannons. I don't want to make more laser cannons. Oh. I was kind of hoping we got past this, you know. I think... Do some cockpit goodness now. God damn it. I'll put these away then, shall I? No. Oh. Put them over there, because I'll need them again in a minute. You know. Oh. Yes. Ah, oh, we're doing more lazy cannons. Yep. Yep. There's no bits. No, good. Into the trash. Into the trash with you. Right now, here's that bit we've done a many times before. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of laser cannons, aren't we, for the next couple of issues? Ugh. What time are we on? Quarter to five. We've got an hour and a quarter. Might not get all of this done, but we'll get a big chunk of it done. These are O1 screws, so I shall. 
in here. Might not get everything done today, but we'll see. Assuming, you know, we might get everything done if I, if I manage to not screw everything up every five minutes. Yeah. Uh, almost like a surprise there are four cannons. Well, no, I was just kind of hoping they might break it up a little bit so you don't just do like gun, wing, gun, wing, gun, wing. Because, you know, it's like when Warhammer Conquest give you like 10 pox walkers in the next issue. Here's 10 more pox walkers. Ooh. Bag. Right. Tube. I've been trying to consider how I'm going to do this stripey stripey effect. Because you think it'd be obvious just put some tape on and wrap it around, but it's not actually that obvious. Not that easy. It probably would work, but it's, it can be quite tricky. Right. Uh, pressing the now this is where I have troubles. Because this is where sometimes I get wobbliness and I have to... There is a solution to it, but we'll find out. Uh, large instrument tube. Maybe not. Oh, blimey. That's all the way in now. All the way in. I'm a barber shop. You can come and get your hair cut. Come and get your hair cut. Do, 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 do. If you look at this, like, look at it. If you look at that for too long. It's an optical illusion. See, it makes your brain go weird. Ooh. Moving on. Uh, put the lens kind jacket on through the thin end of the jacket. This is where I get the wobblies now, sometimes. Although I think they've improved the design a bit now. It would seem. Blimey, they aren't half improved it, I think. Oh, wow. This ain't going to have the wobblies, is it? This ain't coming off ever. Hang on. Oh, blimey, right. Ooh, flipping heck. Well, they've gone from it being really wobbly to this isn't even getting on. Let's get it on. Sorry, was that really loud? <laughs> that is not wobbling. I have no concerns with wobble on that at all. That is not going to wobble ever or ever come off. <sighs> yeah, that's the wrong way around. Yeah. That's fine. That's not the wrong way around. The right way around. Don't be doing that to me. Align the tab in this. Have we done this one? Tab. Hello, Mama Fox. Tab on that. Hello, Mama Fox. You? Yes. Go on there. This can be glue because it's just agreeable and we don't care. It's never going to come off. Make sure it never falls off. That can go on. It'll be glued. It's in Wales, glued. <laughs> uh, Ian's car is off, apparently. Uh, right. Going to probably catch one of the video on demand. Going. I'll start that again. Right, going to probably catch on the VOD, going to dinner, see you on Sunday. Take care, Eon. Z see you later, buddy. Have a good one. Uh, this needs to go on there, like, like that. Peg, slot, peg, slot. Can't really go wrong with that one. You can go a bit wrong when it doesn't actually want to go in. Oops. Helmet off, I don't need that. Do, 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 do. Widen this hole just a tiny amount because it's not playing ball. There we go. There she is. There she is. effect there that completes the assembly for this stage yeah that there because we'll come back to that you just you know we'll come back to that right we've got more cockpit times cockpit times 
Uh, where did I put the cockpit? There's my cockpit. Cockpit times. Dibby 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 dibby. Coffee times. Dibby dibby dibby. Oh. I didn't actually get any coffee then. I went to swig, took a swig of my cup, and nothing actually came out. Uh, Chris playing more mind games. <gasps> Dad says, ah, KFC on its way with gravy. Yes. Do like I do, get the dipping meal and then they'll forget to include the actual dips, which is the entire point of the dipping meal. Yes, we're having McDonald's tonight, but I've learned from last time uh, not to have doubled up stuff on them. Or at least to have doubled up stuff on the ch on the double cheeseburgers because they're really nice. But not to have doubled up stuff on the Big Mac because that will make it taste like vinegar. A bottle of vinegar has been poured on it. Uh, lay out the parts like this. So that there. Hello, Mama Fox. Dad's having KFC. Dad's having KFC. Yeah, but I've told him we're having McDonald's. Right, so lay out the parts like this, was he? Markings on which finger right and left. So this one says le for left, and this one says r for right. So it should be that way. Sturdy. Look at the look at the muscularity. Uh, so. Line the left frame with the corner of the cockpit base, noting the locating pin and the screw hole next to it. Uh, okay, this is where it's all going to go wrong now, because I'm going to mess this up. That doesn't look anything like what I've got in my hand right here. What? Is that left or right? That is... There's the L. There's the left. That doesn't look... What? That looks nothing like what I can see here. That makes... Uh... That's not what I'm looking at here, buddy. How does that even... How does that even work? Oh, I see, like that. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. But you know, right. Downside of photographing a shiny metal thing is you can't see the details on the shiny metal thing. Find the left frame with the corner so it's like that. Locating pin near the end, the screw hole next to it. It goes like that. Okay. Turning the page. Yeah, so they, they've got the bar like this with that shape there but the way they photographed it it looks hollow you can't really see but it looks hollow so i thought i was looking at this bit but this bit doesn't look anything like that it's not got that corner i'm like what that looks oh, it's, oh no it's just it's the way the light's reflecting off the thing in the photograph it would be a lot easier if instead of all the photographs they just gave you actual proper instructions because then it'd be line diagrams and you can't pass them up uh, turn some X to one through the base into the side frame. Be careful not to over tighten it. Yes, you might break the metal or something. This is going to be of a significant dimension, isn't it? I'm not, not that I hadn't noticed that, but it is going to be of a significant sizings. Get in the hole. No, don't think so. You get in that hole. Do as you're told. Yep. Don't over tighten it. Yeah, it'll make you jittery. Okay, we'll leave it a little wibbly wobbly loosey goosey. Smells nice. Smells like. Reminds me of like when I was a kid and you had cap guns that were made of metal. Uh. And uh, step five is the reverse of step four. There we go. I think this is the right way around now, I think. I think that's what we're doing now. Yeah, that was not clear at all. It's just like, hang on, that doesn't quite... Look. If, you, if they'd shown it this way and said, just do that with five different pairs of hands, that kind of would have made a bit more sense. 
No, they keep sometimes they keep choosing like the worst possible angle to photograph stuff. So that some of the obvious details that you need as like, you know, reference points aren't actually obvious. There we go, so that's there. Screw head. And hey, come ahead now, what are you having for your KFC, Dad? Tell me everything you're having. I need to know with the words. Let's have a look at the words, the words. Right, so you don't want that too tight because you've got to have some kind of wiggle room here. Uh, this complete assembly for this stage. The two long side members form the basis of a network of frames extending to the nose. I'm going to have to find another box for all this now, aren't I? Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of hoping that when we can assemble all the canopy, all the armor over this and over the bottom bit here, but have the top bit separate so I can paint the wings separately. That would be absolutely fantastic. That looks nice, that does. Also slightly terrifying. Right, that was issue 32. Steaming along now, steaming along. Right, on the back we have a, a nice little sort of base, jungle base scene, like that. Next. Issue 33. Let me guess, laser cannon. making mayhem using the words using the words three pieces of popcorn chicken chips and gravy wait just three little balls or do you mean three packs of popcorn chicken or do you mean three pieces popcorn chicken and i like the boneless box which is like the three is that what is that what you want the, the boneless box the three chicken fillets the pop I like and chips because i like to get the boneless box so it's popcorn chicken fillets of chicken uh i get a gravy and i get uh chips and I get the, uh, and then I put it into my face. And I also get a pack of, I normally get four or six hot wings. That's my typical, I uh, think that's, that's, that's already assembled cockpit. And that's not what I wanted. Uh, what's next? Issue number 33. Nearly there. I thought we might make this. We might do this. We've got an hour. Oh, with the wire. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> no, I don't think the wiring on these bits is, is quite as bad, actually. So, might have an easier time of this, he says. Conveniently forgetting how fiddly the laser cannon actually got. Number five. I'm going to put it on camera. Number five. Cashier number five, please. Yeah. Hello, my old friend. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, we've been here before, haven't we? Right. Where's in the trash? Close my screw box because I don't want to do screws. My videos for 33, 34, and 45 are 30 minutes, 7 minutes, and then 20 minutes. Hmm. Yes, that's because you're pre-recording them. I'm doing it live when I've got to do talking to people and everything. So have a look. Right, so we have uh, hot rodding the T-70. Don't care. It's not a proper X-Wing. Nonsense. Uh, so I, li I like the Solo film. I thought it was actually all right. I quite like the Solo movie. It wasn't that bad. Stop whinging. It's a movie. It's Star Wars. You get what you're given. End of. Right, let's put this to one side because it's kind of large and in the way. And I'll put it there. Uh, right. Do, 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 do. Bits. Bits. More bits that you're never going to see ever again. Some beautiful screen printing on these for the gold and silver bits that you never ever see ever again. We're going to put these to one side. There. Screws, we've got more O1 screws, so I'll put them in the screw box. If I get the screw box open, there we go. Screws, you want screws? I've got screws for you. Kajit has screws if you have wares. That's not right. You need screws? Take a look. Resad will tell you where the screws are. Right, so. Uh, step number one, put the LED boo, into the small hole in the end of the forward generator end cap. Yes, always stressful this bit. You've got to, you've got to get some tweezers and do a bit of pushy pushy, <coughs> which is never fun. Uh, the other three tweezers are here. Very careful. But you want to push it through all the way till it locks. It doesn't lock in place, but you want to. Almost push down on the end of the clear part. 
because you want it. You don't, I've, I've I've done it. If you just push it in with your hands, it's going to come back out and pop back in again. So you don't want that. Uh, then it's, oh, it says gently push the LED into the hole. The shoulder sits on the rim, so it does tell you to do that. Good lad. Push it into the hole so it's sitting on the rim. Protruding tip. Uh, press the halves of the forward generator. Uh, which is which bit? It's the that bit. Don't just say forward generated. Show me the bit so I know what it looks like, you spoon. It's that one. Diddly bomb. Is that way. This one as well goes. The wire wants to go round like that. Yeah, like that, just there. This goes on the top. Which is which way? Wow, these photographs are really not helpful. There we go. It was guiltless. I apologize. Go there. You sit there. Reminded myself, my friend Mike had a dog. She was a beautiful dog. She was a northern Inuit. Dumb as a bag of hammers. But her name was Kaya. 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 And uh, apparently, I was amused to find out that apparently her name translated from, I think, not, not Inuit, but something similar, was something like, Stop and don't go there. <laughs> What's your dog called? Stop. <laughs> uh, she was great. She used to stop if she was running at full speed, at full tilt. She'd stop by basically just using her entire head as a as a, a break. <laughs> she'd run along and go face plant, and that's how she'd stop. Uh, right next, I don't know why I started talking about that. Uh, Central Union. I wonder if the guys that wrote these manuals got bored of writing the same thing third time along. If they were like, can we not just put? You remember how you built this stuff last time? Can you just do it again? There you go. Label won't go through. Label will not go through. Oh dear. Label getting through holes issue. That's his name. Got to grab the label, seeing as I can't take the labels off now because that's very important that I don't. There we go. Got through the hole in the end with some manhandlage. Uh, this needs to go like that, but. Goes on there like that, but then this goes. If I remember rightly, you've got a lock and key, but that needs to come up through that hole there. Very nicely way they've done that. I think quite clever. It's quite clever, don't you know? And I've pushed the. F oh. oh, do you know? And the oh. take all that apart again, shall we? Gosh darn it! He had one job. Job. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah. I pushed the ball back in, didn't I? Yeah. Pushed it back in again. God damn it. God damn. Well done, Fox. Yep, thank you. I pride myself on my abilities. Doesn't mean they're good, it just means I pride myself on them. Yes, the only problem with ordering McDonald's tonight is it's through Uber Eats. And the problem with that is I, I used Uber Eats for the first time last week when we ordered McDonald's. And it's like, what's your postcode? Put the postcode in. Brilliant. Thanks. We'll deliver it in half an hour. Wait, do you want my like house number? And there was literally nowhere to put my house number. And I'm like, um, that's not how this works, guys. Do you want, uh... So then I had to send a message to the poor guy delivering it. To say, hey, the app's garbage. Here's the actual house number that you might just find useful when you're trying to get to my house. And even then he still couldn't find it. Ugh. It's so not intuitive to use their app. It's terrible. Compared to like Just Eat and Deliveroo and stuff. It's garbage. That's what they eat, I think. Remind me never to get an Uber car. Good God. Uh, that again, lock and key there. It's lock and key. Now, where were we? As I was saying, these two bits go together. And again, this is some beautiful stuff that I'm, you notice I'm not going to really give a crap about the seam lines uh, because you're never going to see this ever again. But it's nice that they give it, give you this bit to do because, you know, you might, like I said, you might want to do a, uh, which, uh, again, slot and key or lock and key if you want to call it that. 
go. Eh. Boop. Nearly pushed the LED back in again. God damn it. Don't do that. Uh, this completes the generator, which can now be installed in its housing. Oh, I know what I've got to do. I've got to paint inside there, haven't I? Budge tacular. It's five o'clock. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, burpage. Burp tacular. Right. I'm some black primer. I've got some stirring balls in my black primer. I forgot about this bit. Right, what I want is a crappy old brush because I can't be bothered cleaning it. Give me one second. Uh, brushes, brushes, brushes. Little, little stinking brushes. Right, and brush that I don't care about that could be thrown away once it's been used. Uh, brush that's incredibly not tiny. Bring to me a brush that can take. Quickly and not really slowly. They're all really small brushes, god damn it. That'll do. That one will do. There you go. It's fine. Hang on. Get back in your box. There we go. Anyway. Anyway. Right, some cheap crappy brush I don't care about. Uh, we shall have a palette. And what we're going to do is basically. You want a light block inside here. So basically paint in here and here. So, very simple. Grab your Citadel starter brush. <laughs> like I've still got that. No. Uh, tell you what I will do. I'll use this. Somebody, I forget who it was now, I do apologise, sent me a lot of little metal trays. And I never use them and I keep meaning to. Now, and I'm going to be putting paint in this. But I can clean this out later on with the appropriate alcohols. But for this step, it's very, very carefully... It's not careful at all, you just blap it in. I don't care. Take a couple of coats, but this is just to light block. Because if you just put the bulbs in and the stuff, and just like this, and leave it, you it's not massively egregious, but you will get a little bit of a glow sticking out. So I'll do that. And I should look at this. I'm painting from the pot, Chris. Can you believe it? Yes, I did not. I threw my Citadel starter brush away the moment I even laid eyes on it. So. But this is just to block it in a bit so you don't get much. And I'm, I mean, I will be honest, I have not seen much light leak at all on this model. But what there is, apart from this bit, what there is, don't forget, of course, I've got primer and many layers of paint to come yet on this. So I'll just go on. Hang on. Uh, I need a. <sighs> Duh, I need I need some water, don't I? Because I need to. Yeah, I forgot about this bit. Right, give me some tissue. There you go. Clean the brush. What I'm going to do? Get the hair dryer out. There we go. Stand by for hair drying. Ah! One moment, please, folks. Talk amongst yourselves. Chris says, as it should be, because I'm taking it from the pot. <laughs> Tell you what, rather than you listen to that, let me put you in the be right back mode just for one minute while I do this. One sec.
Right, second coat. Brush, there we go. Doesn't need to be perfect. Like I say, for a lot of the for a lot of the, the model, uh, light blocking isn't an issue. And like I say, I've got a coat of primer or two and layers of paint to go on top of the model. Bearing in mind this is basically bare plastic with a misting of black on it. So if you just build this without painting it, then yes, you are going to get light leak in a few places. But because we're painting this eventually, for the most part, you don't need to do any light blocking, but there is some light leak around here. So I may as well, you know, do that. If the fact they tell you to do this anyway suggests even they're aware of it. Um, yeah, you, you want to do it anyway. Do any harm. So I shall give it another hairdryer blast. Apologies, I'll put you back on hold for a moment. Please hold. Right, we are back. Sorry about that. There we go. <sighs> Got a bit of paint on my hands, but never mind. Uh, I forgot to turn off the desktop audio there, so you probably got the music slapping back on itself, which was not ideal. There you go. That is now uh, nicely blacked out. I'll throw that brush away because it's a terrible brush anyway. So what we need to do now... Does anybody have the Army Painter Mega Brush set? 
What do you think of it? I've got it. It's brilliant. Just get it. Uh, I have got myself the broken toe brushes that I haven't had a chance to use yet, which is annoying, but yes. Uh, go for it. It's, it's worth it. Trust me. It's a very nice brush set. Uh, right, so we need to take this piece first of all. And this goes in here. Do I say it like that? Do I say it? The wire needs to go somewhere. That. Squish and squish and there you go. That goes there. Is in. Yes, yeah, so the light blocking should be fine on there now. It's a little tiny bit may still get through, but at the end of the day, that's just covered up by uh, when I prime and paint later on. That goes there. Wire goes to the little hole. Bim bam bomb. Bish bash bosh. Done. This bit goes on the end. Goes on the end. On the end. And all of all that little silver, blue, beautiful silver and gold stuff, you know what you say? That. That's all you say. But you know what you do next? You take that and you put that over the top. Wasn't that worth it? All that. It was really nicely screen printed silver and gold. It was beautiful. And yet it all goes away. But like I say, you could do a cross sectional build if you wanted to, really wanted to. Uh, that completes the assembly for this stage. More stopping. Right there. Extending the frame again. Go to do more framework stuff. Yep. So we take our cockpit chunk back again. Yeah. Getting a bit unwieldy now. Uh, take the middle cross member goes this way around and is in a position of fitting on two small locating pins. Um, where? Whoop. Wow. It's not really clear at all, is it? Okay, there. Right. So that goes like that. Maybe. Oh, I see there's two little pins. Oh, I've got you. Two little pins. There we go. There we go. Uh, XW01 screws. My little box of screw based delights. I've got a lot of spare screws that I don't know what they are because I just put them in there without realizing they were ones or twos or threes. So I've got no idea what they are. They're just spares, basically. Well, I have to say, I have to thank Diagostini massively because that they give us extra screws because I repaired the uh, locking handle mechanism on our front door on our porch uh, with a screw because the the screw that was in the in the door in the you know the thing where you turn the handle the whole the lock mechanism the whole thing that was it was knackered and I used one of these screws to fit perfectly it fit perfectly just about there we go that's in it's a little bit loose or tension on that I think I do actually have a ratchet screwdriver but well, that's just those two bits being a bit loosey goosey. That's making it wibble wobble. I've just remembered. You remember when you used to play games at school? And you used to do the counting to find out who was it. And you'd be like, you know, I've just remembered one we used to have at school, which was Ibble Obble Chocolate Bubble Ibble Obble Out. Turn the dirty dishcloth inside out. Something, I think I say it's dirty, you say it's clean. Ibble, obble, chocolate bubble, ibble, obble. For no reason at all, I've just remembered that right now. I don't know who made that up. Ibble, obble, a chocolate bubble, ibble, obble, out. Dirty dishcloth, inside out. And rhyming the word out with out. Not, not indicative of great skill and talent there, is it really? Uh, right, so this needs to go on to... Two round lugs, forward cross member goes this way around, so it's like that. There we go, that makes sense. Ibble, bubble, chocolate bubble. Welcome to the brain of Fox. Uh, AJ Dodgers, welcome AJ. He says, I think if the kit had some maintenance panels that you could leave open to show off the internals, that would have been nice. That would have been really nice. Which way do they want this? Screw that way. How the hell am I going to do this now? I've got to hold it like that. I've got to hold it so far away it's out of focus somehow and also what this makes no sense 
uh, that way, like that. Uh, I'm just doing something off camera here for a moment. What? Uh, what? That is make ice. Oh, I get you like that. Ah. Okay, it goes in this, that, inside. Again, the artwork is not exactly clear, but it sits inside. So the two lugs stick here. Right. So. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice if it had like little maintenance panels where you could expose the internal machinations. That'd be great. It's like, you know, if you, if you make a, a part work model of a car, generally, I, I'm guessing now. I'm guessing, for example, the Ecto-1, if you make that, I'm going to guess it has a fully detailed engine and probably a bonnet that opens so you can see inside. That'd be nice. I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm not, I've not done the Ecto-1. So. Or the DeLorean. Does it have like a, an opening engine bay? I say, say bonnet, but I can't remember where the bonnet is. The engine is on a DeLorean at the front of the back. I don't know. Now I'm going to go for their screwdriver because it might be a little bit smaller. There we go. I'm finding a use for their screwdriver. Any screws that are a bit tenacious and tight, you can use theirs just to give the last few turns to avoid shearing the head. Quite nice. Uh, the turning, not obviously shearing the head isn't nice, no, obviously. There are plenty of spare screws left over, so if it all should go horribly wrong, at least we have some, some backups. that because i'm using my diag my falcon one which is a little bit not quite too big in the same way this is a little bit too small for some of them it's a little bit too fat for some of them i think and that completes this stage issue 33 done we are steaming steaming like a i don't know tory party policy i don't know let's not do politics next we have uh issue 34 let's have a look what we've got uh, loss of an X-Wing. Still some uh, uh, nonsense. Don't know what this is. There we go. Stuff. Hello, Asti. Hello, Asti. Precision flying. This is for one of the new films. Jolly good. Still, this is not a proper X-Wing. It's near enough. Uh, and then we get to the uh, making more cannon goodness. Okay. Uh, so we will need the parts for issue 34. I think we might just get away with this lads and ladies we might just get this done you never know i'm not making no promises now no nothing either but we might just get away with this we'll make the bits fit to cockpit you can go there and then we have being careful not to obviously cut through the uh, fiber optic because that would suck And obviously be careful not to get paint from my finger onto the fiber optic because that will also suck. Nothing left in there. So I should know this bit off by heart now. Uh, this goes here. These two bits go here with that in there, if I remember rightly. On camera, dear. Hello. What happened then? Arthur Chavez, subscribed. Thank you very much for your subscription, Arthur. If you're watching right now, hello, hello. If you're not watching right now, hello anyway. Which way around does this go? Does it go that way or that way? Get the half of the suppressor mount onto the rectangular flange. Rectangular flange, Jose. Hi, my. Most impressive rectangular flange you have there. There we go, it goes into that one. Uh, that goes on to here. And snicked. There we go. That goes on here. Lock and key. Again, like on my first on my on my first wing, this bit keeps falling off all the time. Nothing that a bit of glue won't, won't fix. There we go, there's the uh, the suppressor thing. Why do you need to suppress it on a laser weapon? I don't. Uh, this goes into 
Now, oh, yes, there's a clear bit here. Now, what I'm doing is these clear bits are supposed to go in a, a, twice now. I've lo almost lost that. These clear bits are supposed to go on the end here. But I'm keeping them to one side because, frankly, they look a bit rubbish. Also, they don't really stay in very well, so I'd have to glue them in place. But I kind of prefer it without the thing. Although, if it was a laser, it probably would have some kind of lens on the end. But Anyway, yes, so uh, now we need to do the fiddly ass bit, which is that goes in there like that. And then does it catch halfway? Yes, it catches halfway. I have to sit here doing this for five minutes. Hang on. You have to kind of look down the tube and negotiate the fiber optic so it goes down the center of the barrel, which is not as easy as you think. It's just it just sticks halfway because it's a flippy floppy bendy thing. So I'm having to look down the center of this tube, very slowly maneuver it through the hole in the middle. It should be a doddle, but it, is, it actually isn't. There we go. Huge success. <laughs> that goes in this end here. Uh, there is it. Uh, that goes. Yeah. It's a nice tight fit. This is the best fitting of all the three laser cannons so far. This is. Everything else has been a bit eh, hit and miss. The first one was just terrible. I didn't want to put that on yet, though, did I? Let's not do that. Uh, this wants to go on to here. Is it like this? Is it? it goes on here. Being very careful not to break these two bits here. Now, here's a handy tip for you. And I do recommend you do this. Two holes where those two, these two rods go. Open up a little bit. Just tiny them out. Because. Oh, there it is. Because they are just about big enough as they are. But this thing tends to go plink, suddenly move like that when you're trying to put it on. And if they're not lined up exactly right. They could they could hit round the edge and snap. So you want to be able to just make sure the holes are big enough to receive those pipes. There you go, perfect. If they're a little bit too big, it doesn't matter because you're not going to see it anyway. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this goes on there like that, was it? Into the into the hole. Into the hole where laser beam place comes from. Yep, that goes on there. Never to be removed again. Then, of course, have the nobulations on the end. Hopefully, not sticking out too far now. There, and we have an laser cannon. That bit rotates, you can get it all lined up. We shall double check the working status of it. Right around, which is there. Fix on there like that. And we have, we have a working laser. Yes, I don't know if you'll see it. Laser beams, laser beams. Even though the clear bit sticking out the end, which isn't quite right. That's a bit weird. Let's be pushed in. There we go. Lovely. Now, when I store these, I tend to, if I need to, I haven't really got the space. I tend to store it with this bit taken off. So what I'll do is I'll gently slide that off. And then it's stored like that. But what I need to do is mark it as gun number three. So. Do 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 do. Let's the beams. So this gets marked as number three. This gets marked as number three. Uh, it just means that I know which one goes where. So that's number three. Do it that way. Three. And this is three. There. Now, let me show you something. See if this works. 
See that lovely, beautiful stripe there? Remember, I'm going to paint over this, so it doesn't really matter. But This doesn't. Ready? Tell me your masking tape. Oh, nothing. Okay. I was expecting that to come off. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Uh, yeah, that's probably very easily removed, though, because it's just on bare metal, so that'd be quite tough. This stuff, this this grey shading that's everywhere, that will come off really easily. Just as well that tape was big enough. You want more beams, not lesser beams. I see what you did there. Yeah, so if you are making this, and you get like me, the first one had the wibbly wobbly. This These two bits were like wobbling like that. The way I, easiest way I found to fix it was to get some Tamiya masking tape. You've got the peg that's between the two. Uh, just wrap a small amount around it. And then jam that on. In most cases, that will be firm enough. If it's not, then again, take the tape off, wrap some more tape around it, add a tiniest touch of slow fix super glue, and then like that. When you get instructed to assemble the wings and fuselage, they have you take the barrels off the cannons. Why? Oh well. Well, I can. That comes off again. Why would they get you to. That's nonsense. Anyway, let's put that back over there. So this can go back into the magic box. There was a wing to put that on. So I'm over halfway with the shooty bits now. Oh, I know what I need to do very quickly before I forget, because I will forget, and that'll be sadness, uh, is... I want to remind myself to put tape over the end so that yon fiber optic string doesn't fall out and, and make me annoyed again. There we go. Right, what are we doing? Uh, half five, not bad at all, Fox, not bad at all. Why would they get you to take those cannons off again? I don't understand that. Did Fox lose little clear piece? Uh, no, it's in the box over here. I may not even use them. I mean, logically, you would say if it's a laser, there will be a lens at the end, probably. That concludes issue 34. Last one, ladies, issue 35. Uh, things. Uh, Last Jedi, A Wing. Not, it's like a slightly different version of the A Wing, but I like it. Uh, we have cockpit canopy hydraulic system. Do 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 do. Wow. I, I, hinged at the back, the X-Wing Starfighter's angular cockpit canopy is raised and lowered on a pair of hydraulic struts that control the speed of movement and clamp down at any vibration. That's like the most boring component of any vehicle ever. Is and that, they're, they're writing something about it. Oh, we've got to make them. Okay, that's cool. Oh, I like that then. Now I know why they're talking about them. I'm like, wow, that's like describing... That's like having a describing wheel nuts. Oh, dear Lord, what's this? Uh... Hmm. I don't know if I want to do this yet because I don't know if I want to make it with the canopy and with the clear canopy and I don't know if I want to permanently attach thing yet hmm. I'm tempted to leave that for now until I know exactly what I'm doing with the canopy frame because I've got to keep in mind I've got to be able to paint it and I need to get the clear parts out and if everything's locked in place with these canopy struts, mini, 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 which do seem to be like massively engineered into the actual, f mm, yeah. I think we might leave them off for now because it looks like once they're in, they're in, and you can't get the clear parts out easily, possibly. I like the fact they include them. I think we'll leave them out. I'll leave them for now. Uh, what I shall do is get all the bits out. Put that knife away. Put the bits out because I don't need. I don't. It doesn't matter if it's not done yet. It's uh, not the end of the world. I'll put that bit there and that bit there. Uh, we shall get these little bits out. That, that and that. I like the fact they give you that. I never thought of that because, of course, I just saw the canopy as it was and thought it's a bit lame looking. But if you actually get you to make the hydraulic rams, ooh, 
I thought there was a bit in there, but it wasn't. It was that bit of paint on my finger. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, so what I need to do is get myself a little tiny zippy bag. Zippy bag. <laughs> uh, I actually have some smaller ones. Let me find a smaller one. Got some with my Millennium and Falcon. Hang on. Here somewhere. Do 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 do. Have somewhere some zip zippity lock bags. Uh, Simon sent them to me. I can't find them. Yeah. Find them later. <coughs> find them later for now these parts can stay in a little box stay in this little box so uh, we have XW01 screws we'll transfer the screws first mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oops we didn't cut that at all well yeah, foxy spoon. Totally didn't cut that in any way, shape, or form, did I? These the old these to me decal scissors are a bit old now, right? Uh, that's no one screws. We have these little metal parts here. God, they're tiny. Little metal. I can see me breaking them. Huh. That's them's. What's this black piece? This is part of the actual cockpit. I'm also cautious about the cockpit because I don't want to build the whole cockpit and then find I can't get it apart again to paint it. Also, depending on what the cockpit looks like, if they've got if they've got that sort of beautiful grey and black and white line panel thing going on, I don't know if I could reproduce that nicely with painting without it looking like it's been roughly painted so i'm not sure how i'm gonna do the cockpit yet to be honest it's not gonna be black i mean black's not the right color so what we'll do we'll put them to one side for the moment i'll put that there i think we need this black piece there's a targeting computer we need that bit and we need that bit apparently that there Go there. I'll put you two on top of there. Right, let's get these other bits assembled. So we've got some of the wishbone framework to do. Uh, this is the difficulty with any kind of with this kind of part work. If it was a normal model, I could just plan ahead and say I'm going to do this, 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 and this, and then approach it. With this, I, there's no way to know. Right, are these actually labelled as A, B, C, and D? Because otherwise, I'm a bit knackered. Cross members are graduated in size, and I marked left. Okay, right. So, do 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 do. Nickel one, kind of handy, wasn't it? That was kind of handy. Uh, mark left and right. Somewhere, it says left and right. Where does it say left and right? Cross members are graduated in size, right, left and right, but the cross members aren't. What? Are these all the same? Are these bigger? These are all. Are these all exactly the same? Why would these be marked left and right when? Hang on, they're not going to be marked. Right. I'm not seeing L or an R on these at all. Let me tell me where the left and right markings are on these things, because I can't see them. I see no such markings. Oh, nothing on that one. Yeah. Is that one. That's really confusing. I don't know the difference between these parts now. This is really not ideal. Two on right the wrong way around. In the grove. That's not marked. In the grove. In the groove. Oh, hang on. 
Oh, the tiny, tiny L. Jesus Christ, that was small. Left, there we go. Wow. They could have made that a bit less not obvious. Dear Lord, I can't even see the R on that one. Oh yeah, it's the most microscopic of like markings. Holy cow. Right, so. Now is it their left or my left? Which is A and B? Which, A, B, C and D, but which is which? <laughs> oh dear. Right, so. God, that was not obvious at all. It's what is uh, upper strut A. So which is A and which is B? Yeah, upper strut. So it says they're marked. Cross members are graduated in size, blah, 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 and the struts are marked left and right. That's great. It says C, B, A, and D. Brilliant. But are these the ones marked left, or are those the ones marked left? Which is left and which is right? Also, which is which out of these two? I'm guessing that is that one. Wow. This is really poorly thought out, guys. I'm going to guess that's B. That's C. So that should be... That one. Wow, it was just absolute cluster flange that was. So take A, which is this one. Boop. Which is marked L. A is marked. Why go my why just mark them A, B, C and it's not this right. Okay, that's that's that way. Jeez Louise. Right, so for A which is marked L. Why not just mark them A, B, C, and D? That'll be a lot easier. <laughs> Right, so there we go. So this goes like uh, that there. Oh, it goes like that there. Yes. No. Maybe. That way up. Uh, nope, not that way up. That, uh, what? This one. Wow, talk about not fitting real. Talk about really poor directions. Is that, is that right? I think so. I think that's right. Uh, X we one screw. We'll find out as we try and put it together. Ah, fail. Yeah, screw on the floor. Ah. There it is. I found it. Hey. Right. If only Fox had watched it. Yes. Uh. I, yes, I didn't watch your build of it, really. The thing is that the, the reason I don't watch your X-Wing build, Chris, to be honest, is I uh, I like... It kind of sounds weird, but I like the surprise of not knowing what needs to be done. Otherwise, I'm just kind of going through the motions and saying, next you'll expect this to happen. And I rather kind of... Especially if I'm doing it now as a live stream. And also that screw is just not going in at all. What the hell? W01 screw. Doesn't want to go through. What is this now? Crazy nonsense. Yeah, it's kind of like if I uh, if I watch your stuff, then when I'm doing it, I'll just be kind of going through the motions, and it'll come out in my voice. So I'll know what's happening. I'll know what's coming, and it'll just kind of take some of the life out of it. Plus, it also wouldn't be as funny if I knew exactly what I was doing. Also, this screw totally isn't fitting. What the hell now? Is bending into place clearly. Wow, this is not in any way annoying. Chris says, I understand. Yes, this is a problem of being ahead of me, you see. Right, this is not in any way amusing or fun at all. Is this is it this one? I don't know which one they want me to use now. Kind of annoying now because they could have just marked them a b c and d and that would have made a lot more sense that doesn't fit on there at all so it's not that way 
Must be that one. <sighs> Bar comes out at a slight angle. Yeah, so I'm just trying to get the screw through the damn thing. Is the hard bit. It doesn't want to go in the in hole. Right. You stay there. Ugh. How the hell? You had the right bar the first time. Yeah, this one. I'm just trying to get the. It's another thing where the screw hole doesn't quite line up. That goes out that way, which can't be right. If they just marked them A, B, C, and D, then that would have made life a lot easier. Uh, so Fox doesn't want Chris because he doesn't want, want to be bored. No, not it's not that. I don't want to know what's coming. If I was if I was doing these and I knew exactly what to expect and what was about to happen. I just, it wouldn't, it, you'd hear it in my voice, I'd be like, I'd be going through the motions. Need to look at the little tab before the screw. I can't even get the damn thing to stay on. I think we may not get this bit done on the stream today, guys and girls. Right, that's... On. I don't have enough hands. Oh, you need a hands. Right, do we bend it down that way? I can just get this one screw in, I'll be able to do a good start. Mitt. But I don't screw in my left hand. Ugh. I'll rephrase that. I don't use my. Never mind. There's no way to rephrase it. Right again. Not liking this bit so far. Right, finally, huge success. Yes, there we go. Blimey, really. You kind of have to bend it back with your hand a little bit to get it to line up. Yeah. I'm here. Now you can start, says uh, Osric. Welcome. Try the other side, the other bar on the other side. But the other stroke B, which is marked, oh, I've given up which is which now because I, I, they're not marked. I don't know which is which. So that should be that one, one of these two. Maybe that, not that one. Uh, not that one, I think it is. Yeah, there we go. That's the one. Now we have exactly the same again. <laughs> Yeah, if you're gonna have four struts and they're on, and then you're gonna label them A, B, C, and D, just label them A, B, C, and D. Don't label them left and right, but not tell us which is which. Don't know. Me. Lewis says he found there's a bit of rough casting on one of the frame pieces that prevented it from locating correctly. A bit of fine filing. Black. Uh, take the next largest cross member, which goes this way around, locks into the frame struts, which goes this way around. And this way around. Locks into the frame struts like that, you see, I hope. I'm getting this right. Yeah, ooh, no, almost. There we go. Okay. I like that. That bit I like. Get the next largest cross member. Locks into the side this way around. So that's that way. I think. I like this bit. Making things out of metal is kind of cool. That's not the right. This is. Uh, it needs to go that way around. There. And there. 
Which bit's going in? Where's the, there's the, that's not in any way, shape or form at all, right? What? Something's not quite achieved. Simpleton. Right. I'm an idiot. Next largest cross member. Yes. Going the wrong way from the wrong end. Why are you using random parts, says Chris. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention, was I? That goes in there. That goes in here like that. Listen, I've been going for five hours now. I'm tired. Not easy doing this on camera. You've been doing this to yourself, by yourself, you know, and you've just got some tunes on or something, and you're just taking it easy. I probably wouldn't be doing all these silly little goofs, but because I'm doing it live on camera, and it's been like five hours now or something, I'm tired. Uh, now the next one, fourth cross member goes that way. It doesn't specify, but I think it goes this way. Uh, yeah, but doing it on camera where I'm trying, I'm busy trying to entertain everybody and keep people interested on talk and everything else at the same time. And it does distract you a bit. So you may, you can forgive me for being a little bit all over the place doing this. I mean, I am naturally inept anyway. Don't, you know, don't get, get me wrong. This is like building a, when I was a little kid, I used to get like toy cars and I used to take them apart, put them back together again. Uh, use two XO one screws. Okay, let's try and see if these will fit nicely or they're going to put up a fight. Put up a fight and tell me that you love me. No. I'm quite impressed that we're actually going to finish probably about on time. I didn't think it would take exactly as long as I thought it would, but it's going to take about exactly as long as I thought it would. Oops. Quite impressed with that. Oh. Yeah. Uh, London Sabres is in. Welcome, London Sabres. He says, I've, I've uh, only just received... Hang on, I'll read it in a minute when I'm not trying to scrabble with a screw. Uh, anyway... <gasps> Right. <laughs> oh, I officially need more than two hands. Oh, son of a... Oh. Magnetise that screwdriver. It is. It's just not exceptionally magnetised. Uh, welcome, Hasaki, out, by the way. <laughs> London Sabre says, I've only received the first three issues so far, but that didn't stop me blowing 150 quid on a mod kit. Just waiting to get an airbrush so I can do it justice. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I thought about getting mod kits and stuff for this, but I'm just going to build it as it comes straight. Because again, for me, the I've said it many times. And I'll say it again. I'm I'm a, I'm a painter, not a builder. So the the build portion of this thing is not. This isn't the most exciting part for me. I kind of find it kind of boring. They're doing modding where I'm also adding stuff. and It's not really what I do. I just want to get paint in it. That's where my fun lies for me. I'm just going to do it straight from the box, as it, as it were. See how it goes. Not quite lined up perfectly straight, but... Even that's intentional. They're supposed to be a little bit wonkatacious. They're kind of like... But that's screwed in tight and one bit is on the wrong way around. Wait. Uh, that way, that way, that way, that way. No, that's right around, as far as I can tell. So, nubs facing that way, tabs facing that way, burpage, tabs facing that way, tabs facing that way, tabs facing out. I think. Looks like that, that, that. Yes, good. It's all good. It's all goodness. Happy days. Now it says, uh, hit the lowest truck C, which is marked on. Oh, here we go. It's another guess time, is it? Random. Let's see which the right one is. Is it this one? Could it be? Could be. That seems to be the right one. Well, there you go. 
X to be a one screw. Let's have a guess. Ugh. Frustrations. Yes, it is magnetized, that screwdriver, just not. Does it say L or R? It says. Ah, oh, yeah, it's just the right one. I think. Uh, which way around is this photograph now? Good God. That's that side. Maybe that side. What does it? Meh. Uh, not oh, okay, that one works as well on there. Okay, that works. Tell you what I'm going to do. I happen to have some magnets. Just happen to have some magnets there by, uh, there by, nearby. Give it a bit more super magnety stick. Super Magnety Stick. It's a new game from the developer that brought you uh, Nobi Nobi Boy. <laughs> I'm going to guess there's a screw at either end now, so I think I'm fairly confident in that I can just apply one at each end. I don't doubt for a minute that these are probably the wrong way around and I've got the wrong bit in somewhere. I just know it because those instructions are, let's just be honest, yeah, they're kind of garbage. If you're going to get four components and label them as A, B, C, and D, then actually just label them as that. Otherwise, you're leaving us to guess which one is the right one, well, and that's rubbish. I need to get a ratchet, a small ratchet screwdriver, I think. It was not cooperating. Hmm. I can't believe this, this last bit has given me the most trouble of all of it. Rather ridiculous. No reasonable cross members. Okay, I should have actually fitted these side pieces before I did that last final piece, but never mind. It's all gravy, apparently. Right that way. Way. Not that way. What? That way. There we go. That's in there. Crikey! It was a lot more complicated than it needed to be. Just correctly mark the pieces. Rapti GB uh, says, uh, I'm off to Chippy to pick up dinner. Take care and stay safe, folks. Thanks for coming in. I didn't even know you were there. I do apologise. I don't know if you said anything in chat. I hadn't spotted it, but I've not been taking too much attention of chat today. So, do, 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 do. Bim, 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 bim. This one again is not lined up brilliantly. A bit of squishage. Yeah, I'm just forcing it together so the screw can go in all the way because it's again not the most perfect lining up of screw holes in the world. Fine, and one more screw in the end there. Doodle doodle. Yeah, I'm tired now. I've been doing this for five hours. Next time will be easier when I've just got three issues to do or five issues. I don't recommend marathoning these and doing like five or six issues because halfway through I'm tired and stressed and hungry. Ooh. There we go. Right, that is done. What a lot of cluster flange that was. And I can, I can only assume that those are in the right place. I have no idea. I assume it is. Let's have a look in the... Uh, I'm assuming it is. I could be wrong. 
I could be right. I don't know. I think they are. Yes, it looks like it. It looks like it. Got there in the end. One last thing to do. Uh, take the targeting computer. Targeting computer! Uh, and it has some holes. Mounting pins are different sizes, so the detail only fits this way around. Which is... Big and little, big and little. Which is that way. Watch me get this wrong. This completes the targeting computer. It is now build time ready, and we are done. With only three minutes over, we are done. That is issue 35. I'm quite impressed I managed to get it done within the five hours. Ugh. Right, that's gonna do us. You don't need the targeting computer, use the force. Yes, that's gonna do us. Thank you very much to all of you for watching. Sorry about the entire, it's not been a very organized episode, but like I was saying, you know, you start, you do this for five hours straight. After a while, you start to get frustrated and tired and your brain stops working, so yeah. Smells nice though. Look at that. Where's my cockpit? Where's my cockpit? And does this go underneath or overneath? I don't know now. Thusly perhaps, or thusly? Who can say? I will not know until I find out when I know. And then I'll know. Except the bits you didn't do. Well, yeah, there's that little bit I didn't do, but I'll, I'll do that. It's going to be later on when I'm more at a finishing stage, I think. Yeah. Right, anyway, that's going to do us. Thank you very much. Don't forget, Chris. Don't forget, Chris has got a stream at uh, eight o'clock, seven o'clock. What time? Put it in chat, Chris. I can't remember. Uh, put it in chat. What time your stream is? Seven. Seven o'clock. There you go. In an hour's time. So go and get your dinner. There you go. That's where it goes. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, this thing's gonna weigh a bloody ton. Oh, blimey! Right, it's gonna weigh it right everything. Oh, look at that. That's where the little man goes in his in his space house. And then oh it's gonna weigh a ton this thing. Good god. Uh Paul's typing seven a lot and everybody else is typing seven. The winner is of course cash in number four, please. Uh yeah, so anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. I am back tomorrow with Skyrim Saturday, as far as I know. Uh unless something happens. Skyrim Saturday is one of those things that I have to dump if something happens, like I need to get deliveries delivered or something happens in the house. So that one's always a bit up in the air. So as far as I know for the moment, Skyrim Saturday is on for tomorrow. I'm back on Sunday, of course, with Warhammer Sunday, which I try not to uh, uh, dis uh, disturb for any reason. And then, of course, back on Monday with the E-Model show and so on. I will do a, another uh, Millennium Falcon live stream uh, next week at some point. That will be on the E-Model's channel. Uh, you can watch it after the fact on my channel, but it will be on the E-Model's channel at some point next week. Uh, and that's kind of it for the moment. So I shall say thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Uh, go and make something awesome, and you, you'd be surprised how much easier this is when you're not having to do a live stream at the same time. Goose. Hey, Lucy Goosey. Uh, it's surprisingly much easier. You can enjoy the process. Um, is it Skyrim or Falcon, says Reggie Modeler. Uh, well, Saturday is Skyrim, and we, uh, the Falcon will be sometime during the week. Uh, good stream, Fox. You even showed me a bit I got wrong. <laughs> no worries it wouldn't be the same if i got it perfectly right all the time and didn't make a spoon of myself anyway take care of yourselves go make something awesome i'll make sure my buttons are still working yeah somehow my buttons have still worked all the way through uh, take care of yourselves go make something awesome like this go be awesome and i shall see you later on for chris's stream in the chat take care everyone adios amoebas <laughs>